Hello, 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 folks. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. I'm sorry the stream is late today, but, I mean, I'm in a good mood for the rest of the night now. What a mad game to end, well, the evening of football. Liverpool, by the way, is my team for new viewers, so I've just witnessed them score on my second monitor whilst I was getting ready stuff ready for the stream. And, yeah, I have got my first bit of like, F1 merch. There's a few of a bit... But they're a bit more situational than this top. I have got a load of Haas stuff arriving. It's not arrived yet. But I thought I'd wear this now. You know, get a bit more f one than just wearing a, I don't know, a Manscaped shirt or just a plain shirt. I, th I feel like I'm ready to go motor racing. And to be fair, um, I was going to say we're going to be cheering on Alpine today. I guess we kind of can. Let me show the standings of the teams. Also, who has just come in with the early subs? Screw edit! Dude, thank you so much for the five months. Ah. Oh. I am getting some new hash shirts, RBB. The ones they announced today aren't the ones I've ordered. And I'm a bit annoyed I'm going to buy multiple shirts from them. But yeah, has for some reason handle all their own merch. Whereas every other F1 team sells theirs through F1. I guess it's an American thing. I know American teams are funny just in sports in general about who sells their merch. Um, but either way, we've got a little bit of F1 stuff. And uh, yeah, I love it. it is an Alpine shirt. I'll admit it's an Alpine shirt. But look, we're, we're Team Alpine over on the YouTubes, and this, if anything, this adds, you know, an element of me telling you to go and watch the YouTube Let's Play with Alpine, I feel like. But yeah, Alpine, I mean, they are going to be fighting Alfa Romeo here on the last race. Elsewhere, I think we're clear of Mercedes. I think we're, I think we're okay. I think we're clear. I don't need to wildcard for ha Harland CJ Chaos. I, I, I can get a Harland if I want. Uh, Hot Morpheus, thank you very much for some of the prize as well. Yeah, gang, today we have the last race of the season at the Yas Marina circuit. Um, no rain. I mean, we are racing in a desert, so rain would be a bit of a surprise. But it is the last race of the season. So the plan of attack for today, just for people who maybe missed the last stream, is today we're going to do the last race of the season. We're going to do all the off-season-y bits. So that is going to be, I think we have to choose an engine supplier there's probably going to be some contract stuff to sort. Maybe we look at other drivers, although I'm kind of happy with our drivers at the moment. And we'll get some research and part development going for the start of next season. Tomorrow, I won't be streaming. I'm having a day off because I have been streaming for about 10 days straight. And then on Friday, 8 p.m. UK time, the mega stream begins. I couldn't come up with a better name, so we'll just go with the mega stream. My plan on Friday is to do three or four races to start the new season. So season two starts with a bang, starts with a big stream. It feels like a bit of an event on Friday. So that should be pretty good fun. What days am I attending EGX? I will be there twisting Muppet on Friday and also Thursday. I don't know about the weekend yet. I might do the weekend, but probably not. But how are you guys all doing? How are we all doing? Yeah, we should, we'll be able to talk a bit about the Zanvort practice. Have you guys seen, I think it's turn eight at Zanvort, there's some weird stuff they've done with, like, fake gravel. Have people seen this? I was reading about it today. So Zanvort, and then turn seven. I think it was turn seven. Was it turn seven or turn eight? Might have been turn eight. One of these two turns, they're doing some weird fake gravel stuff on the inside. Because the issue is, is that gravel just gets pulled onto the racing line by cars going over the kerbs. And as a result of that, they've kind of put down gravel, but then put a resin over the top. So it's just like a regular runoff area. But is it actually going to slow them down? Or is it just going to be like a rough surface? It sounds like, look, as a, you know, an F1 fan who's seen quite a lot of my time, it strikes me as the kind of idea that sounds great, but something bad will happen, like every single car will shred their tyres on it. You know, it'll be, that there'll be some weird and wonderful issue that means that it's actually a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, there was an F1 patch today for F1 managers. That's pretty decent. Uh, Gemini, dude, thank you for the 100 bits. Jack, taking tomorrow off. Just happens to be transfer deadline day. I did, that was a consideration as well. But also, we have streamed a lot of F1 Manager. And I feel like the best time to take a gap, if I'm going to take a day off, is tomorrow. It means I can record an Alpine video tomorrow for Friday. It means that I'm a bit recharged for the new season. It also means I can go do some other stuff that I've been delaying recently, like getting my hair cut. 
I've, I've, I need a haircut. My hair's got too long, chat. It's just a mess. I need a new hairdryer as well. Uh, no, we've still got the last race to do, James. Don't worry. On my way home from the cricket. Yeah, how, have people been going to see the 100 games? I, I must admit, I've not followed any of the 100, which is a bit weird of me. I used to be so into my cricket, and I've kind of just fallen off with cricket as a whole, which is a bit sad, but I don't know. I just I, I fell out of love with it, chat. I fell out of love with it. Uh, do I think we can get to Q3? I don't know if we can. Our car is not good to end this season. We've been struggling a little bit. What sport am I not into? I'm not a big rugby fan. What else am I not a fan of? I like hockey. I like football. I like motorsports. They're the three that I'd say I follow the most avidly. There's like other sports that I'll follow with a passing interest, but just, there's not enough time in the day to follow all the sports that I probably wish I could be interested in. Jack, I wanted to address the claims of you dropping saves too early. I have to agree, you ditched Golf Resort Tycoon too early. Apologies. For the Golf Resort Tycoon fans out there, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not big into my NFL. Never really. I, I, I followed the Seahawks when I was at university. I, I used to be flatmates with a guy who was a massive, massive Seattle fan, so I'd start watching the games of him. Never really watched any MotoGP, to be honest. Not really into basketball. Tennis, no. Golf, I actually enjoy playing golf. I don't really follow golf that much. Right. Is there much to do here? I feel like we're at this weird point of the season where it's just the end of the season, right? There's just the one dry, the one fit, like, the one race. I actually, Have people finished seasons yet? What happens at the end of the season? I actually don't know. I think you can choose a new engine supplier, but I'm not sure what the other things are. Maybe maybe we break away from Ferrari. But that would that be controversial? UFC, I watch a little bit of MMA. Like, I'm definitely not the most hardcore fan, and I do find it super annoying to stay up with time zones and stuff. But I'd say I kind of have a passive interest. So like when it comes to UFC, it's a case of if it's on and I'm up at night and I've not got anything else on, I'll stick it on and find it entertaining. We'll find out together, I suppose, chat, what happens at the end of the season. Yeah, so we're going to the Yas Marina circuit, which is, uh, is an okay track. I assume this is going to have all the latest updates to it because they did change some the bits, didn't they? Abu Dhabi for the Formula I really like the change that they made at the end of Sector 1. Is it, I guess it is Sector 1. Can we have a look at the track in detail? Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, here. This sec the changes here, good changes. Two big DRS zones. The tricky thing is, it's almost better. More in because we like to follow in cars DRS, it's almost better for us to have the two DRS zones in the like opposite sides of the lap to one another rather than back to back. Because by them being back-to-back -back like this, we've got to basically through well, the entirety of Sector 3 and Sector 1 follow cars through corners, which we are not good at. So that's going to be a little bit tricky. Uh, the NHL's not too bad with time zones because I've followed like more of the East Coast games being a Maple Leafs fan. Maybe I should do practice chat. Maybe I should do prac. No, we're not. We're not. We're not doing practice. I actually have. We got anything to race for here? I feel like you can have some high stakes ends to the year, but I don't think we're going to be seeing that from us. Uh, let's put a sergeant in the car. I'm going to make some people annoyed. I'm doing it, chat. Chat. I'm doing it. You can't stop me unless we could manage a practice chat. We could. Ma we could manage it to end the season. Uh, Ambrose7632, thank you so much for the five gifted subs to the community. That is incredibly generous of you. You know what, chat? Because we've only got one race today, I'm going to manage qualifying. Uh, manage qualifying. I'm going to manage practice. Right, check. So, my understanding... <laughs> could be wrong here. My understanding is that the best strategy is to go out, do a, do a bit of a setup plan like this... Although, I feel like this is just a glorified mini-game. Does anyone else just feel like this is just an annoying mini-game at times? Like, everything's in the zones there, so we'll go with that. 
run plan. I think 20 laps is what is considered optimal. So we'll do that. Yeah, we'll, we'll just we'll just learn we'll just learn together, chat. But it is just a glorified mini game, this isn't it? If we're being real for a second, like you are just sliding stuff and hoping you get it roughly in the right spots. Uh, because I've not done much of it, I don't know what I have to slide to make certain things move. So we'll learn together. Why do straights not update at all? Why can I not get straights to move? Oh, it moves with that. Go with that. That looks good to me. Run plan, 20 laps on the mediums. Thoughts on the patch? I think the patch is good. So yeah, for people who haven't seen it, there is a patch to F1 Manager today, which um, it, it doesn't change anything to do with tyres, but it has impacted part development, which is a good start because the part development system was a bit bad. Like you could just build overpowered parts. So that stuff's been addressed. But, um, yeah, I'm trying to remember what the other things were. I tweeted out, didn't I? There were, there were some pretty nice changes in there. Like, certainly not stuff I think people have been clambering for. But the game came out last Thursday. Monday this week was a national hol well, a bank holiday here in the UK. So the reality is that the devs have had, like, three weeks to work on the... Uh, well, not three weeks, sorry. Like, three days to work on the game. So to get a patch out in that time, I'm actually kind of optimistic about... I think the patch is on all get on all platforms, chat. You'll know if you have the patch. If you go to the main menu in the bottom right, it'll say 1.6. So my understanding is that when you're doing practice, you literally just want to turn everything down and just run 20 laps. 20 laps is usually enough for you to get one out of uh, five out of five in these feedback areas. I'm doing practice, Liam. Oh, I'm doing practice to see to see if it's enjoyable. But I'm not convinced it is. Please let me just get through this session. So I've put them on runouts. I assume we'll get to five out of five here. Fiercy will end soon. Yeah, okay. Stop slowing down the game. Please stop slowing down the game. There's been a sort of crash. So Vettler's crashed. This is my life now, chat. Do FP1 then sim. I, like, I'm just doing this today. We've only got one race today for people coming in. So I thought, why not? If there's a time to do practice, the day where I've got one race scheduled is probably the right moment, right? I feel dirty, chat, doing practice. But here we are. Oh, is the, oh, pa uh, uh, the patch didn't fix the development. You can look for yourself when you research a new part. All sliders to the right, still massive net profit. I'll have to check that out. I don't know if I'll be able to check out in this save game, actually. We've had another... Cr Why is there so many crashes in this practice session? Vettel and Russell are both out. There's been a crash. Bottas isn't... Is everyone just crashing? Get more crashes than this than in actual races. Car setup. How's it feeling, mate? Com setup confidence is good. That, that sounds good. It feels pretty good. Right, we can call them in now. Because they've got... F well, Teo has five out of five. Now Sergeant does two. I feel like I've not done any practice Out sessions, but my understanding is this is the correct way to do it. So we'll find out together. Right, reconfigure. What's he saying? Good, good, bad, bad. So we'll, we'll move some stuff around. Like that. Although maybe I can, if I can get the straights a bit closer, that would be good. Uh... Oh, that's already in grey. Let's let's go with this, Teo. Right, and then run plan, 20 laps again. And then sergeant's in. Oh, it's nerfed the development sliders by a few percentages. I'll have to look into it. Okay. Da -da -da -da. This takes a lot of brain power, doesn't it? Chat, my brain doesn't like being used like this. Why is straight so bad? Oh, because of this slider here. I think I saw on Reddit someone had developed a website for th for th this thing, so you could literally look at it as like a cheat sheet. Like you tell you tell like this slide this website where you want stuff to go, 
and then it would update accordingly. Chat, why does this use so much brain power? Go with something like that. One well, at the top needs to move more. And then cornering evens out. That that looks okay to me, although the braking stability. This takes so much brain power, chat. I'm normally a Pepega, so this isn't helping me. Need to select a tire compact. We just got on the same set of mediums again. Won't let me do the mediums. Oh, uh, I guess, I guess we'll use the other mediums then. Link it, please. Oh, so Dan the man, a man has linked in the chat. Is it F1. Yeah, oh yeah, Dan the man has linked it, chat. There is literally just a calculator for it. It is just a mini game, isn't it? It is just a mini game. I think we'll just simulate the next two sessions. I've had my fun experimenting. And decided that it's not very enjoyable for me. Is that fair? Like, I'm curious, chat. We've got, what, 800 of you here. Who takes practice? This is like pra practice session anonymous. If you take practice, please, please say I. I do. If you don't take practice, please say I don't. I should probably also send out the driver, shouldn't I, during the session. Maybe I'm, in, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm in the minority. Lots of people saying they do. Do people understand why I don't do it? Or does it make it weird that I do, do people get angry that I don't do it? There's a lot more do's than don'ts. You know what? I'll, I'll take it back, chat. I don't know what I'm talking about. I mean, if nothing else, we're getting some driver experience, right? I always wish there was a times 32 speed. Time 16 almost isn't quick enough here, is it? We should do a poll, really, shouldn't we? I, I feel like in doing this session, if I do well, it, it sh displays the fact that I do know what I'm doing. Because <laughs> I feel like some people... Well, people say... What, <laughs> chat, where's the pasta? Get the pasta in the chat. He doesn't know what he's doing. I've been watching him for three days. He don't know nothing about the view. See, that's the wrong pasta, though, isn't it? It should be he don't know nothing about F1. Nightbot has the wrong... He has Nightbot has the wrong pasta there. All right, checkered flag. How did I do? We're not very quick, although we were on medium tyres. Hey, Dark Ghosts, how's it going? Oh, chat, I should also say thank you to everyone who was involved again in the raid yesterday. It's been really, really fun, the F1 manager raids. Because we're raiding a lot of people who do like sim racing and obviously come from a more racing background versus me who comes from the, the management background. Um, and it, it, it's really wholesome seeing you guys go over and just show a load of love. And like throughout this week, we've raided different people and everyone's just handled it so, so well. It's been so cool to see. And you guys have been so good at kind of representing the community that we're building here. So I appreciate you guys. How did Brazil go? We got 7th and 13th. Magnussen crashed, otherwise he might have got points. It was a very chaotic race where, I don't want to say Bugs played a pivotal role, but Bugs definitely were a factor. Chat, am I doing practice too? I'm doing practice too. You know what? I've got the practice bug for today. For today. Radio check, Kev. Right, Bashar. Radio's good. Good, great, good, bad. Doesn't know about the top one. I think the good one, the top one was already pretty good anyway. So, I, this thing here, right, is really, really, really unclear. Does anyone, does anyone else agree with that? I can't work out if he's actually provided. Well, I guess he's provided f feedback on these things. Like the white ones are where we have it currently. The green ones are where it was at its best when the, when we had that setup of all of them. But then we don't know how good it is because, like, the top one is question mark, question mark, question mark. So I think we want to change the bottom one around. 
doesn't show what the last setup was for this one unless the last setup was on the green. Is that is that what I'm supposed to take from it, chat? Why is this so uncool? Chat, why did I not sim it? Why did I not sim it? I should have simmed, chat. I should have simmed. So it was great in the area with the lines, but the, where that is now. So, so I want to get that one closer. I hate mini games, chat. I should be using the website, shouldn't I, that gives you the cheat sheet. I should be using the cheat sheet. Because the thing is, this isn't actually representative of, like, tuning a car at all. It's, it's just not. Do we just go with there? I could just get the... I have the calculator here, don't I? Right. Thing is, where's the... It doesn't actually tell you where the value is, does it? Right, so we'll put that there. Chat, bear with me. I'm, I'm using the cheat sheet. Is there a way I can see the actual value? I'll cut... Like for these bits on the slider. I'm getting the calculator out, chat. So for people who don't know, there is literally a website that you can use to calculate where you need to put stuff. Uh, and then... So we want this one on four. This defeats the whole point, but you know what? I just get angry otherwise. That on 12, this on 4.6, this on 2.95, and this on 87. That doesn't look right, does it? We're just going with it, chat. Why have I, why have I committed to this? What have I got myself into? Bad, bad, bad. Oh, good, 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 good. Great. So if I just get these into the zones, we should be fine. Although this one actually wants to be closer to where it was. I don't know what the margin is for good to great. That's the other issue I've got. Chat, I should use the calculator. I should use the calculator. Fornos, thank you for summoning the prime. This bit, this takes too much brain power, chat, doesn't it? I can't multitask. This uses the same part of my brain as talking. When you're a streamer, talking's quite an important part of your brain to still have available. Do people actually find this bit of the game fun? I just find this really annoying. Like, really, I, I, I can't. It just, make, it just makes me angry. Oh, wait. Wait, you're meant to change it depending on the circuit. Oh, Jack, you absolute spanhead. Right. I should explain the name Spanhead because I realise that's a random thing to call myself. My si my sister's name is Anna, and <laughs> my brother used to call her Spanhead to wind her up. So now I use the word Spanhead <laughs> just sometimes in conversation when I'm being an idiot because I think it's just stupid nickname to give someone. All right, four point five, thirteen, two point eight, thirteen. 15, and then 70. My calculator says that that's good. Do we trust the calculator? No idea. Uh, I guess we'll go on a set of softs. It's going good, man. Uh, how bit... I'm trying... Dark Ghost, mate, you are writing in a lang... Like, you're using... So, um, is this English? It's going good, man. How bit you what's the new key to upgrade since the patch? Uh, I think you're asking if there's overpowers to the patch. I've not had a chance to do any part testing since the patch came out. Sorry, mate. Our reading's not my strong point anyway. <laughs> 
Adam, thank you for gifting a sub to Spanet. Brilliant. <laughs> Jack, how slash when do regen spawn? I don't know. I just know that they do. I assume it happens at the end of seasons or as like other drivers retire. Sheeny, the late winner for Liverpool was mad. I was getting ready to stream when it happened. It, it was good. It was a good time. There was a patch today, chat. There was a patch today. For people who want the setup website, by the way, I'll just put I'll just put it in the chat. There you go. That website there, you can it will basically you put the sliders where you need it to be, or where your drivers are saying, and then you can it tells you what you need to set the sliders to. Uh, XL Solar, thank you so much for some with the Prime. Chat, I got lost on the internet today. I was looking at uh, buying... A <laughs> a <laughs> There's been a crash. Please don't be our cars. Uh, I think we're okay. I was looking at buying a signed Mick Schumacher Bahrain photo today. But I decided it was not worth it for £200 to si buy a signed Mick photo. The Latifi crashed, chat. The TV crashed. We're watching Nicholas There's a train behind him. Clearly something went very, very wrong there. Unbelievable realism. Unbelievable. Joe and I, thank you for the 100 bits. Jack, you know what? Uh, you know you can adjust the car settings between the practice session and still simulate. I, I am aware of that. But we can tune it between runs here now. You know, when these are, when these are five out of five... We're going to cool them in, and then we get to tune it all over again. We have only got one race today, so that's one of the reasons why I felt like, let's do a practice. You know, if there's a day to do a practice, today's the day. Right. The car feels pretty good. That's what I want to hear. How good does it feel, though? Good, good, bad, bad. Oh. What's the overall setup confidence? Is that the current, is that the current setup confidence? I feel like the AI does better than I do. Christ. Chat, I think the AI is literally better than me at making my setups for me. Maybe maybe I need to get out the the website. This just it makes me very angry. I can't explain why this annoys me so much. Straight oh okay, straight is impacted by this slider. Does anyone else just find this? I can't be the only person who just gets annoyed by this slider system. It's just like a really, it's a really annoying middle mini game, and it just makes me angry. Someone smarter than me. Do traction and straights first, then tune the rest. Is that the way to do it? Because they're the ones that impacted the most. Traction and straights first. So that one needs to be there. Oh, my straights were good before. What's the other thing that affects straights? Oh. Like that. And then... So if I do this... Chat. This just makes me really, really... I get really, really annoyed. Really annoyed. I hate sliders. It just makes me angry. I can't be the only other person who... This is... I just don't think this is very fun to watch. Maybe it's fun to watch you get really annoyed at a, a slider mini game. Like, Sudoku's much more fun as a puzzle. That's all I'm saying. Like, why is that moved down? You know, when you hover over a slider, the blue thing glows with the things it adjusts. Wait, does it? Do, um, oh, corner. You know what? I'm just, I'm going to use the app again. I'm going to use the app again. But how do I know where the middle is? Right. So we want this here. Chat, I'm using the app. I've had, I've had enough. I used the app before and it wasn't correct. Get me out of it! I don't like it. I feel like if I wasn't streaming, it would bother me less. But I feel like, chat, I'm trying to be entertaining. I'm being entertaining whilst doing this. Is I mean, I'm not finding it. I'm not having fun. So how can I be entertaining when I'm not having fun? 
it just does it doesn't work right. Two point seven. I can't put it to two point seven. Twelve point six. Three point seven. Is that better? No idea. I think the straights wants to be closer. Then this wants to be further this way. And then the others are fine. Right, so 2.5. 2 2.5, 3.7, 3.10, 62. That's the, that's, that's the play. Can I go out on the same softs? No, they've been returned to Pirelli. That's what we've got to do another chat. We've got to do another. Moses, dude, thank you for the 15 months. And Coach Harper, thank you very much for some with the tier one. You can't do marginal things. Maybe, maybe, chat, I just get really angry. Kevin, please tell me you're happier. Oh, Kevin's happier. That makes me happier. Thank you, Kev. Please tell me that this makes other people angry when they're doing it. And this is not just me being like a man child. I refuse to believe that anyone has fun doing this, this slider stuff. Not possible. Because it's like I know where I want stuff to be. If I have bad parts, does that limit how good I can actually make this? I have no idea. I'm so annoyed. Chat, I'm so angry. This, nothing about this game has made me more angry than this has. Parts make no, no difference. Uh, I still have one set of mediums uh, for Bane. Makes my day seem jack struggle. You guys are monsters. This is like... I'm, I'm, I'm just not having fun. Is there a way to see a scale for this graph here? You know what? We'll go with that and hope it's better. That'll, that'll be better. That'll, that'll be better. I'm, sh I'm sure it'll be fine. Get me out of it. I'm not doing I'm not doing practice free. I've decided. I'm not doing practice free. MD Games has redeemed a hydrate. Thank you. Now I have to sit around for 10 minutes waiting for them to be ready to go back out. Bloody, I'm just I'm just angry. People want a channel point Teo, you've locked up. Okay, he's not hit anything. It's fine. Do people want a channel points redemption to make me do practice? Because I don't know, I'm charging a lot of channel points to, if I'm ever doing this again. Vion, thank you very much for the six months. I don't know why I'm doing P2 chat. I'm just angry. Last race of the season, and I'm going in angry. This could uh, this uh, 50k to do practice. That is too cheap. Um, seven box side. Thank you for some with the prime. Even on time 16, I feel like I'm getting old. Where's the Alpine jersey from? I got it from the F1 official website. I'd say it. Very nice top. Like, it actually fits very, very nicely. Mick might get a drive next year on the grid. That would be the ultimate villain arc, wouldn't it? Minor gearbox wear. Don't tell me that. I mean, chat, when they come back with like 90% setup confidence each, I'm going to look like a genius here. I was actually acting. Oh, I just to be clear, was not acting. I am actually very, very annoyed. Are we even going to get the laps in to get the feedback here? I think we're not going to get the full feedback done. So I won't actually know if this new set was any good. Did I get the next size up? I did, Super Strudel. 
I'm normally an XL in shirts, but this shirt went with a double XL, and I think an XL would have been too small. But it's that unisex, so yeah, the sizing's weird. Oh, we got five out of five. But we did it. Okay, so you just do two sets of 20 laps. Is what I'm learning here. Per session. Okay, chat, what percentages did I get? Chat, get, get some guesses in the chat. I reckon I got 90% for... No, I definitely didn't. If I got above 75, I'll be happy. The bar's low, I think, for me right here. 62, 70. I mean, that's better than what the AI gets across all the sessions. Today, we see the culminate. All right. 62. How can it be 62? Let, let me just... Bad. Great, great, bad. B what do you mean, bad? What do you mean? Chat, I hate this mini game so much. It hurts my brain too much. I feel like I'm wrestling. Like, I feel like I just slide stuff until it's roughly in the right place. I feel like when I was a little kid playing the Pokemon games and they'd have puzzles in them that I couldn't do. So you just kind of f fiddle with it until it's roughly where you want it to be. Like, that should be quite good, right? That, like, other, th other than this one that's in good. Wait, is that... I can't even see where I last did it. Is that okay? Uh, shuffle the ones on great a little bit. The ones that are bad, more movement. Yeah, the braking stability is out of range. So like that. But then the other ones move out. I just get, I just get really angry. This just isn't fun. That looks okay to me. I'm going with that on per share. Get me out of here. Get me bloody out of here. I've had enough. Good on, good's in everything. Oh, I feel like that's okay. I mean, the thing that irks me about this is this has absolutely no relation to real motorsport whatsoever. It's just an arbitrary mini game. Is that okay, chat? Like that? Then the straight isn't in the right spot. Get me out of it. Get me out of it. Just, just sim the session. Get me out! I'm never doing this ever again. There you go. 84. I'm a genius. Chat, look at that. I'm a god. It's not good. It's not good. We're never doing that ever again. Never again. Radio check. Sorry, it's ninja team to hydrate. Thank you. I need vodka after that, I feel like. Jack, you should only do practice and sim for quality in the race. You might be onto something. You might be onto something. Thoughts on Harlan tonight? I didn't watch the City game, so I literally can't. I don't know. I, I could bullshit you and pretend that I have an opinion, but I literally do not. I've not seen him the game. What was more painful, Ke that or Kev doing the treble? Kev didn't do the treble in the, uh, treble in the network game. Didn't happen. Fake news. Are we about to get blocked? Please. Please. Thank you. 
I think Kev won't catch them until after us, although they need to get through this corner quick. Oh, there you go. There you go, folks. Happy days. There's more traffic up the road, but I think we're fine. Maybe we're not fine. We caught that way quicker than I thought we would. I'm nervous. It should be fine. Is it possible to automate the race? Have the computer manage my driver uh, race and drivers and me just watch? I don't believe so. Uh, they've not changed anything with blocking in the patch or tyre wear. But yeah, it went quicker than Magnuson through the second sector. Our car is not good. Just as a little reminder, our car is bad at, at tracks like this. I think set to three, we are going to be a bad, bad car. I don't want to set. I don't want to call it a sh box, but it's not good. Uh, I don't think unlapping got fixed either. Stuff like the unlapping and the tires chat that is pretty fundamental stuff to the game, where you don't want to rush out a fix for it over a few days. Like you got to bear in mind, the game has been out. It like, came out on Thursday. In on Monday this week, like it was a bank holiday in the UK, so there wouldn't have been anyone working on the game on Monday. So, Latifi's crashed. Latifi has crashed in qualifying. Now, Reset the timer. Has he done the exact same crash he did before where he just overcooks it? Does anyone else get deja vu? You definitely see the same crashes, like, over and over, I've noticed. I hope that there's a bit more variance with that. He literally did that in practice. Maybe they made Latifi worse after the patch. They couldn't have done that, could they? I'm going now. I think I've timed this right. We'll find out together. Have I timed this correctly? Also, this pit exit's always so weird when you go under the track. What if the AI can <laughs> hit the wall going under there, as has been seen historically? Why did I go out so early? Did I go out too early here? Maybe slightly. We won't get in traffic, though, so it's fine. All we need is Latifi to crash and cause yellow flags for everyone behind. I'm looking at you, Nicholas. Right. Share's not improved. Magnuson's done okay. I mean, our times aren't that bad, but I think there was a bit of blocking involved. I feel like the weird thing with the crashes in this game is it's like cars lock up, but then they'll always go into the wall the same way when they lock up on a corner. If that makes sense. It's like if a driver makes a mistake at a corner, there's only one way that they will go out on that corner. Which is fine until like three drivers have the same incident. How did FPL go this week? We don't we don't talk about it. We don't talk about it. Pacher over Piastri, why? Because everyone is getting Piastri and it's really, really boring. <laughs> Am I, is that is that an? Ing I just think it's. I've seen everyone I've seen gets Piastri season one, and it's a little bit resident sleeper. Uh, K Mag, it's going to be marginal. We could do with a yellow flag somewhere here, or we could be tumbling. Please, yellow flag, yellow flag, yellow flag. Maybe the McLaren is slow. But I think they were blocked. Oh, chat. Oh, chat, it's bad. It's bad. Magnuson. I mean, we're through. We're through. Everything's fine. Bloody hell, we are bad. I mean, a few of them have got penalties behind us, so we're not starting right at the back this time. Uh, if we get either car through here, it's going to have been a miracle, I think. I just don't think we've got the race pace here. Uh, 
Radio check, radio check. Uh, is that Alpha going to get in the way or are we going to be okay with that? We'll find out. I'm sorry, I just got third with Williams at Mexico. Hey, nice, Wazbeck. I think Williams is probably a really painful save game, but I imagine it's really rewarding when you do get points and have good weekends. Yeah, we're down on the alpha. We just don't have pace end of the season. We've put a lot of resources into next season's car research-wise. We've not actually brought any upgrades, I think, since the summer break. I mean, that kind of shows. We've just started to fall down the, the pecking order. Spicy Online, thank you for subbing, mate. With the tier one, with the Julian Brandt. Yeah, etc. That wasn't a very big yeah, was it? Chat, it's not looking good. Um, Kind of tempted to save softs for the race, just in case we need them. I'm hoping that because we did so much research, we'll have a good car next year. But I'm also a bit worried because I think we're going to come third in the constructors and have no wind tunnel time to develop parts like we did this year. Like this year, we had so much wind tunnel time as has because of how poorly they did in real life last year. So that definitely helped us bring better upgrades. Okay, both drivers out fairly early on in the pack. But both have to go better if we want any chance to get through. Gemini, the softs do have some pace over the mediums and hards in game. It's just not a significant amount. But it does make a difference. Uh, I'm not going to be replacing Teo. Teo's only 18. Teo's a project chat. You know, he is here for the long haul. Like he's only going to get better with time. He's the youngest driver on the grid. He set four fastest laps this season. The kid can race. He just has mistakes in him. But that's what you expect from like a rookie driver. He's not even had a full season with us yet. Hey, Maltese a Falcon dude. Thank you very much for the 43 months. That is a long ass time, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But yeah, I think this season's going to be difficult. Uh, wind tunnel time. Yes, yeah, so the way it works, the snazzy, in a kind of an indirect way to kind of keep the pack together, um, teams are allocated wind tunnel time where they can test aerodynamic concepts uh, across a season. And you get more times if the previous season you did badly. So we still get time as the team who are likely to come third, but we will get less of that time. Whereas when we started this save game, we were taking over Haas, who last year finished... Did they finish dead last or second to last? I guess it was last, because Williams got points at Spa. Did, uh, yeah, Haas, did Haas come last last year? Yeah, they did. So Haas get a load of wins all the times. So that allowed us to bring some better upgrades to this season. I mean, Pacher has actually out-qualified Magnussen there, but I don't think it's going to be enough unfortunately. Although Danny Rick isn't... Oh, I was about to say Danny Rick is now. Danny Rick didn't make it through. It's Norris you have to worry about. The chair's going to drop here, I imagine. Russell is going to go quicker. There's no shot he doesn't go quicker. That Mercedes has too much performance not to go faster. I knew it! I knew it! 13th and 15th. That's kind of where we've been for the last few races. It's all going to come down to what we can do on the weekend. Evening, Jack. Did you do any yelling after the 98th minute winner? I didn't because I was all right. Well, I, I unmuted my mic during the warm up period of the stream just to let the chat know I had seen it. But I didn't do too much yelling. Race day has arrived and the time has come for these drivers. Should we get a prediction going, chat? Wheel wheel. Shall we get a prediction going? Last race of the season. Can we get points? It's going to be difficult. Chuck, can we get a prediction going on, will we get points? It feels unlikely, I'll be honest. Also, I think I need an energy drink. Should I get an energy You know what, I'm going to go get an energy drink, chat. Maybe that's the fuel I need. I'm, I'll be back. Karun, take over the stream. It doesn't take anything away from the unpredictability of this race.
And teams will have to make tough split-second decisions here if they're going to succeed. An exhilarating race lies ahead of us. Maybe, With chat. Abby maybe it's the Alpine shirt. You know, ma being... Uh, well, Haspos wearing an Alpine shirt. Maybe that's bad luck. It's like a debuff. Will one of our drivers score points? We are starting... That's the practice session. My heart sank for a second. Well, actually, let's check where we're actually starting. Magnussen starting 15th. Pacher starting 13th. I think this is just going to be a medium hard race. To be honest. I don't think there's anything too crazy going on here. We have fr fresh mediums. We have fresh hards. I mean, the tyres are a little bit marginal with this strategy. We do eat through them. But I think we've just got to eke it out on the tyres as best we can. It's going to be difficult, though. Our, our car, it's not the best in terms of actual tyre wear. Has Pacheco's rating gone up at all? It's gone up one point. I will say, and I don't have enough data to verify this, I have a feeling that Pacheco isn't getting as much experience as, as he would be if he was our reserve driver um, or racing an F2 or F3 that the game simulates. We are at Abu Dhabi. We are at Abu Dhabi. Chat, if the race starts going wrong, I might have to take my shirt off. Uh, quali wasn't good. We had Pacher qualified 13th, Amanison 15th. I realise I don't think any of the grid penalties actually moved us up there. Are there more safety cars after the patch? I don't think they've done anything there. They did say they changed some um, balancing stuff with Zanvort specifically. I don't know what the issue was with Zanvor. I don't know if there was too many safety cars or not enough. But what I thought was interesting about that is clearly they have the ability to change the frequency of crashes or incidents at tracks. And they can do it on an individual basis. So that's interesting. That's, you know, going forward, we could see some changes to individual tracks with patches. You had five safety cars at Zanvor. Ah, well, maybe that's why they changed it. So just a little reminder, chat. This is the only race we're doing today. We're going to do all the off-season stuff. We're going to choose our new engine supplier, get our prize money and work out how we're going to spend it. Then there's no stream tomorrow. And on Friday, we're doing a big start to season two stream. Um, I have streamed for like the last 10 days consecutively. So I feel like having a day off, probably a good idea tomorrow. Gives me a chance to work on an Alpine YouTube video as well. And then, uh, yeah, Friday, 8 p.m. UK time. So whatever time it is for you now, Take three hours off it. That's roughly when we'll be live on Friday. My aim is to do the first three or four tracks of the season um, Friday night. Long stream, probably six to eight hours. It should be a really good time. And it happens to be transfer deadline day as well. That is a factor. Chat, the prediction is still going. There's currently 500,000 channel points on the line. That's rookie numbers. That, we can we can pump that number up. Does the gearbox take away on the PS5 version if you change it before quality? They have updated that today. If you're on the latest version of the game chat, the gearbox bug has been fixed. So previously, if you changed your gearbox before qualifying but during a practice session, the gearbox you'd put into the car would acquire the wear of the gearbox you were replacing. So if you had a worn out gearbox and you took it out and put a new one in, the new one you put in just immediately was dead. On the flip side, if you had a fresh gearbox and then you put a worn out one in, the worn out one became fresh again. So you could actually use it to fix the bug if the bug happened to you. But that has been fixed today. Has the patch not come to PS5 yet? I, didn't, I wasn't aware of that. You'll be able to see if you're on the patch in the bottom right corner of your game. It'll say version 1.6. Oh, a console update's next week. That's annoying. I guess that's because they have to go through the approvals of Sony and Microsoft. Oh, that's a shame. I didn't realise that was a thing, chat. But in some ways, I think that it's good that the patch comes to PC sooner. Because it means if there's any issues with the patch, it doesn't actually affect any of the console users. And it also means they're not delaying a patch to get out the fixes as soon as possible once they're in. Because what what some game studios would do is they'd get a patch ready, then send it to Microsoft and Sony, and then not deploy it everywhere. 
until the patch was approved. And in my opinion, it's not a very good practice to hold... Well, maybe I'm talking as a PC user here, but the idea that my version of the game is fixed and ready to go, and yet, you know, you're, you're basically having holding it back for no reason other than the fact that you're waiting on other kind of platforms to approve it. It's just a bit shit. Um, I believe to King they have changed the design sliders. Someone came in my chat earlier and said they're still busted. I've not had a look into them at all. The patch came out today. I've literally not played any races until we now. Oh, it does look good. Although that umbrella is like radioactive. Man's got the sun on a stick there. He's going to be getting a right good tan. Look at that. Right, chat. We did get a million points on the prediction there. Well, teaser Falcons redeemed a hydrate. Oh, chat, I didn't change the engine modes. I didn't change the engine modes. No, I've got to pause after the start. Anything could happen. I'm so sorry, chat. I'm so sorry. It's lights out, and away we go. I'm sorry, I've ruined the moment. I've ruined the moment. Boo me. But I deserve to be booed. Right. What's that? The Alpha Tauri's on a little dance. What are other cars on? Okay, lots of cars are going soft. So people are two stopping. You can't one stop with um, soft to start. So we are going long. Uh, there are no shortcut keys. I'd love there to be shortcut keys. Or at least a way where I can click on some of this stuff and change it without having a massive pop-up on screen. Like, if I could just click, like, this dot here and it goes down to the medium mode. Or, like, you know, if you click the lowest dot, it goes into conserve. That would be kind of a nice quality of life improvement. But it's because it's, the UI is designed simultaneously for consoles and uh, PC. So it kind of has to work for both. And be gamepad friendly. So a lot of the field have started on softs and are two-stopping. We are one-stopping, but I'm a bit scared because I really shouldn't push these tyres. The tyres are going to be mega marginal at the end of the race. Uh, Pacher doesn't really seem to care. We could, I guess we could two-stop with Pacher. Maybe we go long with Magnussen and let Pacher have a go because Pacher eats his tyres anyway. Magnussen's done ghastly. Hmm. I'm wondering about having a proper go with Pacher here. Where we just let him get aggressive and push hard. Uh, I don't have two sets of mediums, Ali. We'd have to go medium, hard, soft. The two stop with a safety car is way easier to achieve with softs to start. Because if I want to go into softs at the end, then the pit window to move off them, like under a safety car, is way smaller. Whereas if I go softs in the middle, it's the same. So all these cars that are signed on the softs are probably going to go softs, then hards, then look for a safety car to pit for the mediums, like in the latter stages of the race, like two-thirds race length. Oh my word, that was a bit close. I haven't tried playing this game with a gamepad, but a lot of people, I feel, I feel like the general feedback I've seen from people in our chat and just online forums is with a gamepad, the game actually works like as well as you can expect. Like there's a bit of a learning curve to learning, you know, the shortcuts and what keys do what quickly. Once you pick that up, it's pretty easy to be reactive. Should I worry if I haven't done any research the next season? I don't know what the extent is of how much research helps, to be honest. So I can't really answer that, but I can't imagine it's in your interest to not do any research. PRS enabled. I think we just get patient with our drivers here. I think this is a race of patience. The McLaren in front is on the same strategy as us. I don't think we've got the speed. Maybe we have got the speed to drop them. I have two options. Either get really aggressive now, try and pass the McLaren, 
Or we go for a one-stopper, which is pretty good in this game. What fixes came in the patch? I actually can't remember. I tweeted out a link to the patch notes, though. So if you go to my Twitter, at work the space, I highlighted the most significant changes Good job so far. Um, and linked to the Reddit thread. Uh, yeah, YouTube is with Alpine, catch your boy, and Twitch were with Haas. That's correct. Yeah, Pacher, I think Pacher, if Russell gets points, he goes ahead of Pacher. Is there a way I can check the driver standings in race? Yeah, there is. Okay, so George Russell is three points ahead of Pacher. So we have to come at least P8 with Pacher and Russell not score points. That's what we're playing for. We are playing to get Pacher ahead of Russell. And I think the one stop is the play to go for. Uh, sorry, the two stop. No, yeah, the one stop's the way to go because they're going to go for two stops. So this managing of tyres and just being patient is just the play this race. Can we use a lift off of it? Jack, since you're wearing an Alpine shirt, you need to wear a Haas shirt in the next video. The only reason I'm wearing this shirt today and not a Haas shirt is because the Haas shirt hasn't arrived yet. The stuff I bought from the official F1 store I ordered over the weekend arrived today. I bought some stuff from the Haas store, and I'm not 100% sure, but apparently the scheduled delivery is next Monday. And you can't buy the Haas stuff through the official F1 store. It's the only team, I think, that you can't buy the, their merch through. I assume they ship it from the USA. So it's a bit annoying. Um, there are some F2 driver radios. There are F1 driver radios, but the F2 ones for like newer drivers like Pache, who's only had one season in F2, he doesn't have as many lines. This is the first race in a while where we have got to manage the mediums, and it feels weird. And yeah, I bought shirts and then Haas released some new shirts today, which I think I'm going to have to get, chat. So they've done me there. I think they planned it. Duhan only says copy. Yeah. <laughs> the, the thing is, though, I feel like the voice line stuff is the start, kind of stuff they can probably patch in throughout the year. I was thinking about this the other day. The dream scenario, and I've not looked into how moddable this game is. The dream scenario would be, right, that it's basically like the possibility for fan-made audio to be put in in terms of if there's like just folders for every driver's voice lines and the different voice lines like you know confirming something um activate the rs or whatever you know wh whatever the reactions are because basically the way the voice lines work is like an event happens then the driver pulls a voice line from that section i'd like to believe that it'd be nice and easy just to mod in more voice lines that the community could there's a way the community can mod more lines into those folders or something there's no chance it's as simple as that and it wouldn't surprise me if the game's not that moddable okay i think this is just gonna be a long train here on the mediums but we have to manage the tires i want to make them last a little bit longer than the plan pass with an overtake Gooey's redeemed a hydrate. Bloody hell, you guys are really keeping me on the water today. <laughs> Pacher has more fastest laps for us than Magnussen. I do feel like if Pacher can get consistency into his driving, he'll be really, really good for us. Uh, I have had issues with that, Jamie, with the un like, cars not unlapping under safety car. Actually, I'm in an episode two of my Alpine Let's Play, which you should totally check out on YouTube. It's youtube.com forward slash work the space. Episode four went up today. There was a crash in qualifying and the race was under safety car into the last lap. We went motor racing for one lap at the end. So it's an episode that if you got a halfway through watching, you should probably go back and finish watching it. And if you haven't watched it yet, you totes my goats after this stream. Go watch it. Please, can we never talk about the fact that I said, just said totes my goats and ironically that that's him. Even by my standards, that's bad, isn't it? Totes my goat. No, 
No, I'm sorry. I feel like I've let a lot... <laughs> well, we've just lost a place for that. This isn't... Kevin. Did he get any damage there? Kevin. Kevin. It's a, it's a pissing disaster. Try to increase the pace a little bit. I'm really sorry, chat, for the no, we are... comment. I can't even say it. I can't even say it. Mode push. Go for that. Yeah, to be fair, better than Magnuson lost a place there than actually giving up the lead. I mean, we've got to remember, all the cars in front, except uh, I guess Alonso's one-stopping. Hamilton, Verstappen and Leclerc might one-stop as well. All these cars in softs, we're not really racing right now because you can't make softs work in any kind of one-stop strategy. Kevin's on the beach already. I mean, to be fair, I think Kevin Magnussen is guaranteed fifth in the drivers. And we're guaranteed third in the constructors. So he's kind of allowed to mentally check out, I feel like. Um, we've got a little bit of gearbox wear to end the season. That's... Uh, what the markers. In fact, we've got a gearbox when the engine is also showing issues. But uh, Magnussen's not really racing for anything today to end the season. He's guaranteed fifth. I think we're guaranteed third in the constructors. It's all about camper share. Get clear of uh, George Russell. Oh, does this up chat? This updates live. That's. N I did not realise that this actually updated live. That's really cool. For some reason, I assume these numbers were, like, previous races. So you can actually check the standings live. That's neat. I don't, I didn't realise that was a thing. I mean, it probably should update live, but I just, for some reason, I just didn't expect it to. So going into this race weekend, was Russell just one point ahead? We want Russell to get. Uh, we want Pacheco to finish ahead of Russell. Bear in mind, Pacheco has had four less races as well. Yeah, there was one point in it going into this weekend. Is Bottas? Could Bottas get ahead of us as well? Not really. I've never really been looking at the driver standings live. I don't know about anyone else. I don't watch F1 races in real life looking at the live driver standings update. Unless it's the last race of the season. And lift off. Um, tire temps are important in terms of I think they impact the frequency of lockups. But you don't need to micro them too much. What happened in quality? We got 13th and 15th. Our car's not been good. Like for people. I feel like there's been a big drop-off in, like, the last... How many races would you say, chat? Like, five or six? Like, we've been scraping points by strategy, luck in the weather, and just people crashing around us. But we have definitely, this season, like, just fallen off a cliff. I had to use all of Magnuson's battery just to try and catch up with these guys. Charge on, please. Go for that. Since the summer break, we've been focusing on research for next year. But the regulation changes come in have a 30% impact on high-speed cornering, which is our car's biggest strength. For most of the year, we had really good high-speed cornering, like the fastest on the grid. It was kind of the thing we went all out in leading up to the summer break. So, like, from Silver... I think it was just before Silverstone, we got a big upgrade package, which was all high-speed cornering, which obviously... Helped to the British Grand Prix, helped to the French Grand Prix, helped a little bit in Austria, um, helped at Spa, helped at Zandvoort. High speed cornering is pretty important there. But then this back end of the season since Singapore, we're kind of crap outside of high speed cornering. And we stopped upgrading the car. We focused it all in research. So as a result of that, I'm a little bit worried that next year we could be in trouble unless the research is good in terms of how much it preserves our performance because of the fact that the votes on like regulation changes had the biggest impact on our biggest strength. Keep this approach. Good job so far. How long are the softs going to last, you reckon? They've burnt through what? They started at 90%. So they've burnt through 30% of it already. Probably lap pitting around lap 18. Maybe a little bit sooner. So I'd say 16, 17. We'll start to see pits. 
I don't think there are any Michael Massey Easter eggs, funnily enough. In an official F1 game, I don't feel like they're allowed to acknowledge Michael Massey's existence anymore. Yeah, you're probably right, actually, Nagels. I don't know if we would have been able to get higher than third in the constructors anyway. Hey, Gemini, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, I did actually check the files about the ability to mod the game. There are files to prevent you from doing it, however, there are files that show that you can. I think the game runs in Unreal. I think it's UE4. UE4 is a weird engine because it's pretty good at locking stuff up, but it is definitely more than possible to repackage files and get into them with enough effort. Not that, not that I would have ever have done that in my free time in my life ever before. Oh, does it run in Cobra? I thought I saw people having Unreal issues. Are you sure the menus aren't in Cobra and the, ra the races itself are in Unreal? Am I disappointed in Pusher's lack of development? He has got better. His overalls have gone up by one, uh, Connor. You could mod Motorsport Manager in its basic form. You should be able to mod this. That is not how modding works, Mr. Hazy, I'm afraid to say. Different engines have different levels of modability. And this is not Motorsport Manager. It's not made by the same people as Motorsport Manager. It's a different dev team. Alpha Tower regained a place. Okay, Gasly's on the soft tyres, so to be honest, getting a tow from him probably isn't that bad. Oh, chat, I really want to get Pacher finishing ahead of Russell, but Russell's now up to P6. He was in a train and he's managed to get his way through it, which is concerning. Any possibility to bench him Pacher to the reserves and bring it into a more competitive? I mean, Pacher's done well this year, Seiko. Like, Bashir has more fastest laps than Magnussen. He just has to stop crashing. Like, it is in the back of my mind. Maybe I'd move him to reserve, but we've already got Sargent as a reserve driver, who's a really good young American prospect. So, I don't I don't feel like we necessarily need to change our driver lineup this year. Mr. Hazy, it, it, you're saying it's literally Motorsport Manager. It is modelled after Motorsport Manager. It is not Motorsport Manager. Like, saying that you can mod this game... Uh, you can mod Motorsport Manager so you can mod this game. Like, that's not that's not how modding works. I'm not denying the games are undeniably similar in their game mechanics and how they work, but they are built in different engines by different development teams. I've been impressed by Pusher this year. Like, I even like here, he's just racing away. The regen faces, I think, are pretty good, Codder. I've not actually seen any of my own save games, but from what I saw in the dev streams, they look decent. Yeah, K-Mag got dropped. He, he used all his batteries to try and keep up, and we just can't... We don't have the pace without DRS, to be honest. Sonoda is on softs, and this is like a, a DRS train. But Magnussen's car is running some pretty worn parts, to be honest. So his performance in is, like, it's not going to be good anyway. This weekend is a Pacher race to focus on. Oh, do you get some new gens after the summer break? I'll have to check that out. Chat, I think... Whether or not we get points is going to hinge on Pacher here, who's just going to be one-stopping. I wouldn't mind being stuck behind the Alpha Tauri for a little bit, just getting pulled along. Yeah, that's the other thing, actually. Nate, uh, Shiko Kaga mentions it. Like, Teo Pacher didn't come in until five races into the season. He's a little spring chicken. Like, he's not even had a full season in F1. Also, interesting that Norris managed to get behind Gasly, ahead of Gasly. I think Norris and Gasly might have had a moment together and Gasly got shafted by it. Who's going to win the F1 season? Let's have a look. 
Uh, it's going to be Leclerc. If Leclerc was to bin it, Verstappen would still be behind. I mean, Leclerc has literally already won it, unfortunately. Red Bull can't get the constructors. Um... I'm just wondering if there's a world in which Sainz gets enough points. If he got fastest lap, he'd get an additional eight points on this. So we're looking at three, five, four, then minus the 26. Sainz can, I think, just beat Verstappen, but it's not really possible. The biggest battle, actually, it's a bit of a disappointing end of the season, if you want some excitement, is Pacher versus George Russell. Bashir versus George Russell is going to be the, the thing to end it all. Yeah, we don't mention Mexico chat where I didn't give Bashir the points. Just think, if he got that extra point for finishing Ed and Magnuson, he would actually be tied with Russell going into the final race. Okay. Okay, Teo. Good job. He's going motor racing. I'll tell you what, I'm very excited for next season. Which might sound like a weird thing with what's going on right now, but I'm kind of just excited for a, to see if any new drivers come onto the grid, see if like, the research that we've done is going to help with our car. We're going to get a lot of money for finishing third in the constructors, which we can put into facilities. Because our actual car facilities, the most expensive thing to upgrade, are still pretty bad. We can maybe have a little bit of a poke around the driver's market, although I, I think our team is settled for next year. We get to pick a new engine supplier as well. So that's pretty exciting as well. I mean, right now, how far is Russell up the road? Russell is seven seconds up the road, but we're only pitting once. And we are conserving these tyres on Pacher to go a few extra laps so that the hards don't need to be managed as much. How long is Teo's contract? I think it's four or five years. He's, he's here for the long haul, folks. I, this is the Pacher project here. When you say that we went motor racing as a Mercedes fan, I'm traumatised. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Got to commit to the lads, Teo and K-Mag are family. Agreed. I feel like Teo and K-Mag, like they've got a bit of, you know, chalk and cheese about them. Okay, Sainz is pitting for the softs here. I think I said lap 16 or 17 for the softs. Was what, my, what I was predicting. Sainz is going to come out in some nasty traffic here. Yellow in sector 2? Sector 1, sorry. So I had a moment. It wasn't a big moment, though. Where is Sainz going to come out here? It's Hamilton who ran wide. Leclerc's right up his chuff. Okay, Sainz has come up just up the road. It's kind of hoping he might come out closer to us and we could get a toe off him. Do older drivers tend to drop off in ratings? The way that the game works, the older drivers actually don't get worse. It's just a case of the multiplier that applies to their experience gain gets really, really small to the point where they won't improve anymore. Which I don't like, but I can only assume it's like a licensing thing with F1. Where they, uh, where they don't like, well, maybe, yeah. I imagine it's a licensing thing where they just don't want drivers' overalls getting lower. Like in the Cody's F1 games, the drivers' overalls get lower. I'm actually not that sure. Maybe they do. I feel like it'd be weird if they didn't, but... But the drivers do retire once they hit, like, uh, when they're older. Okay, Perez is now pitting. We just need to beat Russell. This is Pesher v. Russell today. Uh, and yeah, drivers do retire. Chat, this might be a stand-up desk day today. Oh, Russell's in the pits. I'm going stand-up desk. I'm going stand up desk. In the Cody's game chat, do the drivers get older? It's not Code and Masters no more, is it? It's EA. Well, it's Code Masters. I've broken my camera. I broke chat. I knew this was going to happen. I knew it. I bloody knew it. This Every time I move the desk up and down, this happens. Help me. If I just deactivate and activate it. 
Oh, here we are. We're back. Hello, everyone. Did you miss me? EA bought Codemasters, but they still operate under the Codemasters name. As far as I'm aware. That Codemasters is an entity that still exists. It's just EA are now the owner. In the same way that Blizzard is owned by Activision. There's a yellow flag in Sector 2. There's a safety car. Oh, can I go hard now to the end? It's too soon. Safety car. Ah! Stay positive, stay positive. It's too soon to pit. It's too soon to pit. What, what happened? I totally missed something happening here. Sonoda's out the race. There's been a crash. Sounds like a single car. Here's the I think giving up pit uh, trap position is too important. Like, not good enough here. Control. I mean, I give up trap position, we're fucked. Oh my word. He's hit that hard. Very unfortunate. Could Pacher get a free pit? We just have to beat Russell. Russell's 10 seconds behind. We'll come out behind Russell. I don't think it's worth it. The two stop is not good in this game, chat. Two stopping is not good, especially because of where we've gone with this strategy. This is probably the worst time for our one stopper. Like if this had come maybe four laps later, it's perfect. Teo two stop and came back to hold up Russell. Well, the thing is, Teo's going to come up out behind Russell, and we're not quicker than the Mercedes to overtake them. Oh, yeah, we can actually conserve these tires. Valid point, chat. And harvest. Joe's pitting here on hards. Oh, did he pit on the mediums for hards? We'll see what Joe does, chat. Because Joe obviously saw that we were racing. He's on our strategy. So Norris has stayed out on the mediums. All the leaders have stayed out on the mediums as well. So that makes me feel better about our decision. Mediums will go longer now. This is good. This, this is good. Uh, people on two stops because they want to stop now. Nah, no chance. It'd be a, it'd be a, I think it'd be too big of a gamble. But bear in mind that Russell's on 97% wear now. By, I mean, by, I'll show you. By, uh, if we went onto the hards now, and obviously our wear is different, you can basically see if we went onto hards next lap, they are done by the end of the race. Safety car in this lap? I don't think so. It probably will be. It'll say in a second. Safety car in the Okay. Okay. As much as I want Magnuson and Pacher to look at maybe defending, the reality is that um, defenders in ERS mode probably isn't going to help us that much here. I think my best bet on Magnuson is to try and get him to hold up Russell a little bit to help Pacher build a gap so it's more difficult for Russell to regain track position over us. But both cars are going to have to stop again. How do you improve your car? I put all my upgrades into... Well, a high speed cornering and focused on that. No overtaking until the timing line. Hey, I'm happy to hear uh, Apathetic Tree. I feel like this game is just very fun to watch, to be honest, chat. Has our pit crew improved a lot? I put a lot of effort into like, making them better. Like, there's a bit where you can train different parts of your pit crew. And I put, made a big focus on my crew's thing be tire changing. All right, Kevin. Hold up as best you can. I mean, we can go a, l a lot longer on these mediums than I planned. I'm wondering how much Pacher can maybe get a tow from Perez up through, like, for the next few laps. Like, we could probably still look to pit on the same target lap, but use Perez as best we can okay. here. But unfortunately for us, I don't think Magnussen stands any chance against Russell here at holding him up. Russell's car's much quicker than ours. But we have got the medium, so maybe we can make something happen here. It's going to be difficult. Oh, 
We're in an okay spot, though. How long do races take in gaming? It really depends on how you want to play them. But I tend to play mine at a slightly slower speed when I'm streaming, so I can chat to you guys while stuff's going on. But, um... I think the average race for me, when I'm doing it for YouTube, which is I play for it quicker, is probably about 50 to minutes to an hour. There's no mid-session saves, which kind of sucks. Because it can be quite a big commitment to like do the full race. But including quality and practice sessions, you're probably looking at about an hour and a half a race. But there are some people I've seen who absolutely blitz for it way quicker. I just prefer the minutia in this game. I think there's a lot you can make a difference with by just microing. Oh, wow. Russell made a mistake. Good spot, chat. Did he make a mistake or did he just give up spots? Either way, him getting stuck back here is good for us. Still got to hope that he needs to pit again. So our pit window is open here for both drivers, but because of the safety car, we are going to extend this medium stint because it's a faster tyre. I think realistically, we're probably looking to pit lap 26. And in Magnuson's case, probably 27. Keep Magnuson out as long as we can to make this train. But Magnuson's job now really is just to hold up Russell and Co. behind. So behind him, there is this long train of cars that we are at the front of. And the guy that we are racing for a championship place is in the middle of them. So the point standings right now, if it finished now, Pasher would get six points, Russell would get no points, and we'd move up to seventh. Today, chat is all about getting Pasher seventh in the Drivers' Championship if we can. But he's going to have to be pretty punchy here, I think, to make this work. How is Latifi already that far behind? He didn't catch up with the safety car, I don't think. So everyone around us, I mean, to be honest, Perez and Sainz are in the best position possible here if they're going to try and make these hards work to the end. Yes, enabled. Okay, Norris is pitting on the mediums. Other guys on the mediums that are doing the same strategy as us are extending. I think all these guys on the white hard tyre that you can see are going to be struggling come the end of the race with their tyre wear. Just want to make sure we're in range here of these guys in front. Okay, we are. That's fine. Back in neutral. K-Mag is just using his ERS in defend. Seeing things out. Uh, we don't have to worry about too, fuel too much here. Once we're running behind these guys, we'll save a lot of fuel quite quickly. Yeah, to be fair, I might end up regretting not letting uh, uh, not letting Pusher hold his place over Magnussen in Mexico. That could end up costing uh, Pusher seventh in the drivers. Okay, Joe managed to clear K Mag. K Mag, can you get Joe here? Probably not. Mode push. Probably not. I should be sensible. I should be sensible. Is Russell who we care about? Russell is who we're racing. Mexico with the fuel is very, very different, though. Hey, Cartel99 Gaming. How's the race going? The race is going pretty good for us. We got a bit of an unfortunate safety car. The good news for us was the cars that were doing two stoppers had only just switched when the safety car happens. So they didn't really take advantage of it either. But yeah, it's going okay. We're trying to get Boucher on the last race of the season ahead of uh, George Russell in the standings. Do drivers swap to other teams? Yeah, they do. So the, the, gr the grid will get shaken up year on year. I'm not sure how many changes you'll realistically see year to year. But I'm hoping Mick Schumacher might get a spot somewhere. I feel like that would be fun. Uh, we've not had the off-season yet, Tubby Nesbitt. That, we're going to play the off-season today. So ju just for people coming in a little bit later. Plan of attack for this week. Um, we're going to finish the season tonight. We're going to do the off-season tonight, which includes preparing the car, upgrades and stuff that we end up doing. Um, oh, Magnus has just lost the spot to Russell. Um, and then beyond that, we are going to be... Wrapping things up for the day. I'm not streaming tomorrow, but on Friday, 8 p.m. UK time, we're going to be starting season two 
My plan is to stream for about six to eight hours. So we're going to do a mega stream to start the year. Four races. Um, it should be a really, really good time. So if you're, you've are you got nothing planned for your Friday night, if you're looking forward to the weekend, if you're going to be playing some F1 Manager, maybe you had to return to week uh, to work after a few days off this week playing F1 Manager. Uh, I've got a tonic for you that's hopefully <laughs> going to... Uh, well, help help you ease into the weekend of playing F1 Manager because yeah, we're going to be going nuts with it here. Okay, lots of the teams on the same strategy as us pitted. We could pit now for the hards, but I kind of would just like to make these last since they can. It will make the hards less marginal at the end, so if we need to push on them, we can. Save fuel. I think we might have to pit once. Uh, lap sooner than I wanted to. I'm currently performing a ritual to bring Mick back to F1. I mean, I hope that Mick's back. I hope that Mick's back. Uh, are there paid drivers? I don't believe so, uh, Sergey. I've not looked into it myself, but I have a feeling there isn't. It's probably a licensing thing. I'll tell you what, Russell has cleared Bottas already and vanished up the road. Well, they've got to pit again, right? Oh, God. Hamilton and Leclerc are fighting at the front, chat. They're fighting at the front. Looks like Hamilton's got a bit of a gap there now. I must have squeezed out Leclerc. So, Bechere's driving his own race for a little bit here. We're going to be pitting in a lap or two and then going to the end. Hey, St. United, how is it going? Yeah, this track looks really nice, chat. Like... The uh, the Yas Marina circuit, like it's, they always have like time the races, so that they happen like right as uh, right as the sun setting, and it always looks pretty picturesque to end the season. I actually quite like the track as well after the changes. Yeah, I do agree. It'd be really cool if the like new gens could become. Um, could become what you call it pay drivers that's the kind of thing that i feel like we might get with time right like i feel like there's little there's so many intricacies that this game is missing like little things that exist within f1 that just aren't in it and i kind of i'm really excited to see all those little things get added in as weird as that might sound russell is already directly behind per so Russell's 3.2 seconds behind. He's not going to have DRS anymore to catch us. Ugh, do I pit this lap or next lap for Pacher? The issue for us is that George Russell is going to be rush running in fresh air. What was the estimated pit stop time loss here? Uh, where are we? Chat, where is it? It's here, right? So, uh, no. Oh, it's, it's literally on the screen here. 25 seconds. So that's the time that we lose on a lap. So you're probably losing nearer like 20 seconds. Which would bring us out next lap. Ideally, we want to come out behind Alonso. Or cl even clearing Alonso would be big. If we clear Alonso, I think we can get Vettel. But it's going to be tight. I think we deploy this lap. Try and get that gap to go into this lap. Hards to the end from here. K-Mag. I realise I've still got K-Mag set to hold cars back. Which actually we don't need on him right now. Sorry, Kevin. I'm going to pick Kevin as well this lap, I think. For the hards. There's enough of a gap between them that I think we can double stack. Oh, yeah, there's a massive gap. Uh, are there different tracks in the game than the ones in this season? There aren't. I mean, the game's a licensed game, chap. So, like, realistically, you're not going to see tracks that don't exist on the F1 calendar in the game. Did Russell make a mistake? Nah, he's still behind us. <laughs> Dan, what game could possibly do what you just suggested a management game could do there? 
I have found the discourse around this game pretty funny. Like, don't get me wrong. There's room for improvements. I think the foundation's great, but there's definitely areas where the game can be way, way better. But the amount of people I see compare this game to Football Manager or say, this thing exists in Football Manager or whatever, and I'm sat thinking, I play Football Manager for a living. You are looking through Football Manager with rose-tinted glasses, my friend. Oh, they did actually fix the two the the stacking animations, chat. Can you remember when there was the weird stuff with tires being left around? I wanted to see how that looked after the patch. It actually does look like they have fixed it. Where did we come out? Vettel pitted. Uh, behind Alonso. It's kind of where I thought we might come out. Let's deploy here to try and get in DRS range. Uh, not sure why, but since the update, I can't seem to overtake while watching on board. I can't say that I've had that issue. Yeah, Pichet did run over the front jackman there, but he managed to get Magnussen's car up, chat, so I'm sure it's fine. Uh, did we get in DRS range of uh, Albon? We did. Sometimes I notice the intervals get stuck. We need lift off, lift off. Yeah, I must admit for sure. Like, don't get me wrong. So Fisher is just running like the Reddit page and Discord server. I can't this game. I get their issues, but people need to call it a bit. I, I, like, don't get me wrong. There's issues with this game, but I understand why people are annoyed by some of the stuff. Like, the tyre issue is a pretty big one, where tyres... The difference in performance between the tyres isn't that significant, and it needs to be bigger. The effect that tyre deck has on tyres needs to be, like, readdressed. But I'm still having fun with the game regardless of that. Like, I think it's possible to have fun with the game and acknowledge it's got flaws and it's got issues. But I have found it a bit mind-boggling when there's people on Reddit saying, I played 30 hours of this game and I've got a refund because it isn't, I'm not enjoying it anymore. I'm sat thinking, bruh, you played 30 hours of the game. And don't get me wrong, I understand why the stuff that's broken is frustrating. But if you've played 30 hours of it, it can't be that bad. Like, may maybe if you're not enjoying it after 30 hours, it's because you played 30 hours of a video game in a week. Like, if, I'm sure if most people did four hours a day of playing or doing the same thing, they'd probably get bored of it too. Was Albon's DRS stuck open? Oh, yeah. You must have a rear wing issue, chat. Even though it's an animation issue. Albon, are you okay, mate? Is everyone else's? I wonder if that's a thing. If it was real F1, he'd be going into the pits and he'd be getting a hammer out and some tape and taping it shut. I know there's going to be non-F1 fans think, sat thinking, is that a thing? Believe me when I say that I've never seen a sport use as much tape as F1 seems to use in weird and wonderful scenarios. Yeah, I agree. Like, st don't get me wrong, chat. The tyre issue is annoying. The blue flags are annoying where, where cars just don't get out of the way in quality and in races, cars get in the way and then they can't unlap themselves either. But stuff like that is stuff that you can't just fix in like a week. Like, I don't want them to rush out a band-aid fix for that. Like, the fact we got an update this week, as far as I'm concerned, is pretty decent. Like, the game had an update last week before, uh, I think it was last week on Tuesday. The reviewers and people who had early access like myself so the fact we had an update last week and then in the next week they've put out another update that has quite a lot of fixes in it like maybe it doesn't fix the big issues but clearly all the stuff that they could fix quickly they fixed in like the week between patches and bearing in mind that in the uk monday was a debt like a national holiday so there wouldn't have been anyone working on monday the amount of fixes they managed to put in the game in six days like, that leaves me pretty optimistic that we should be getting patches every few weeks to fix stuff and that things will get fixed. And ultimately, this is a yearly franchise game. Like, Frontier know that if they leave this game in a state where people aren't happy with it and where there's glaringly obvious issues, they, people won't buy it next year. Like, it's a, as much as you, people cynically might look at it and go, well, they're not going to fix that because they'll fix it next year and charge us more for it. People won't buy it next year if the fundamentals aren't fixed. And it's the kind of stuff that they, if they fix this year, it'll be fixed for all future years. Like stuff like the tyre degradation, 
is not stuff that is going to change massively year to year in Formula 1. So it makes no sense not to get it working as well as you can now. Like when it comes to cars unlapping themselves and getting out of the way, that is a more complicated AI programming thing, which might not be an easy fix. Like, I'd be amazed if that's the kind of thing they can fix in a month, for example. But it's, it falls into that same bracket where it's a thing where if they can fix it this year, it will then be fixed for all future versions of the game. So it makes sense to work on it whilst you can. Like, don't get me wrong, I can understand why people might feel frustrated about the issues and might feel like the product's unfinished. But the game is still very, very fun in its current form and it certainly doesn't diminish my enjoyment of it. Uh, SDMNJ, mate, thank you for some of the tier one. And also, Hutchmaster, thank you for the seven months, guys. I really do appreciate the support. It has been a crazy week since this game came out. I'm glad to see that people are enjoying it so much or enjoying the stream still. Like, don't get me wrong, I want this stream to be a place for constructive discourse around the game. But like was initially raised by, I can't remember who it was in the comments, uh, in the chat, so apologies. Like, some of the chat I've seen about this game has just turned into shit flinging by people. Like, people not allowing others to enjoy the game and not allowing others to criticise the game. And it turns into this weird thing where people are either on one extreme or the other. There's no room to be in the middle. Whereas I think the reality is that if you put on a rational head, there is kind of a middle area where you can sit and go, the game's fun, it's good, but yes, it has its issues, let's hope they fix them. And, and for newer viewers of the stream, I should point out, because <laughs> I really shape you might go, He's talking a lot about game development. I, I worked in game development for seven years. I, I, I worked on Football Manager. I worked on the Total War series. I like to think that when it comes to video game development, patching processes, and how things work, my background in QA and in video game development probably leads me in a point where I can have a, a more well-informed opinion and like outlook on things than a lot of people. Yeah, I agree the speedy owl. It's like everything, right, in life at the moment. I think politics is a good example of this. You like, There is no room to be in the middle, and I don't really want the chat to turn into politics, so let's avoid it. But essentially online, like, there's this weird us versus them thing where it's you're either extreme one way or extreme the other way in anything. It could be views on a football club. It, it could be your opinion on a video game. It could be your, you know, your views on politics. And it's kind of just a little bit sad. I feel like online discourse via text is not a particularly good way to convey opinions and thoughts because you have no idea of the tone that people are writing with. I think very often people just assume that someone is writing or expressing their views with a negative tone and like, a, you know, a, a, a certain attitude that may or may not be there. But I, I want this chat to be a place where people can express their frustrations with the game, but we don't have to start calling each other c**ts or c**ers, you know? <laughs> like, we can all get along and have a, and be annoyed about the game, but without saying the game's terrible. Because I don't think this game is terrible. And I think if you're playing 30 hours of it, like, it's it can't be that bad. Yeah, we are in trouble here. We're not catching up with Alonso. He's not catching up with Gasly. Our saving grace is that a lot of the cars in front are going to have to pit again. All right, Russell's tyres are a lot more worn. We're running longer on these tyres. Like, with an overtake there. we're going for this one stop. Oh, Magnus has overtaken Let's Latifi. Magnus has overtaken Latifi. My go. Not, not go Tifi. Sorry, he's not my go. My go is Kevin Magnussen. Chat, if you, if you praise Latifi, that is okay. And there they go. But, moving up a position. Just incredible. Easy. Okay, where is Russell going to come out when he pits? If Russell, Joe, Verstappen and everyone could just keep squabbling, that, that brings us into play, which is all we really want. We, ju we just want to get Teo. Where's Teo? We just want to get Teo ahead of George in the Drivers' Championships. That's what we're going for today. 
Celebrating K-Mag overtaking the TV. How the mighty have fallen. Look, chat, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Chat, we're getting to a point in the race here where, where we are vibing along. And I need, I need to go to the little boys' room. So, chat, I'm going to leave you in charge. Can I trust you to oversee? This is like, it's the equivalent of babysitting. Just look, just look after Teo for me, okay? He's, he's just doing his thing. Be nice to him. Look at, look at, I'm going to go in times two, chat. I like the jeopardy. I'll be right back. up and gone straight on Chat, what's happening? Chat, what's happening? There's yellow flags. I've come back. Uh, I heard a noise. Did someone lock up? Yellow head. Perez has crashed. Take a look now. So let's look Perez has crashed. Sergio Perez. I went for a peat stop. That crash is terrible We've, news for that's, the team. That's terrible news for the team. He doesn't have to pit. He's out, isn't he? He's actually out. Let's see what his high, his hards are on zero percent. What happened? Oh, he's hit that wall hard. He's hit that wall hard. The team are devastated. They'll be It's the Alpine shirt, chat. Where am I? Why am I wearing an Alpine shirt? Is Magnussen out? No, oh, yeah, chat. So. Oh, good radio audio. Chat. Terminal tyre damage. Okay, well, we're pitting, but we've got to get all the way around the track. We've not got another set of mediums to go on to. I'm going to have to go hard, hard. Chat, he's at the start of the lap. Oh, the, the car has terminal damage. It needs to be... He's got through the entire lap on 0%. Chat, this is going to end in disaster. What's happening? They've got to do the entire lap. Chat, it's the last race. There's no point in retiring. If he can get in the way, it's good. Also, Pacher needs to manage his tyres more. He's got to do the entire lap, chat. He's got to do the whole lap. Like this. Chat, I don't even put anyone's offenders going to help. I'm going to be honest. I don't... <laughs> He's going... He has zero percent. <laughs> the... <f> <laughs> it's so sad. All around me are familiar faces. Worn out places. So I call our signs is coming up. <laughs> Chat, he's going so slowly. It's the saddest thing I've ever seen. Come on, Kevin! Kevin! I guess, do we put him... I'm not sure if Harvest helps here, Chat, because you charge up your... You charge up the battery through using... Well... <laughs> using your engine and your brakes, and I'll tell you now, there ain't, there ain't a lot of friction happening here with how slowly we're going. Maybe we take someone out. Oh, Perez has come out in front of us. We might be able to just follow Perez along here. This could be great news. Kevin, how's it going? Oh, God, there's people coming up behind. Oh, my God, chat. Chat. What's happening? Russell. We need Russell to crash. Oh, chat, this is brilliant. 
Go on, Kevin! Kev this is the greatest thing ever. Kevin. Ke Kevin Magnuson is the team player we need. I love this game. Don't fix this. Don't fix this. Well, we should have kept him out, chat. We should have. We shouldn't have pitted him. I don't know how much time we just took out of Russell, but he's now four seconds behind Verstappen. That might get Pacher the point with the one stopper. Oh my god, that could be. It could be massive. Get him in. New set of hards. He can't go to the end of what he's on. We have to wait for the nose to be changed. There's no nose changing animations, which I've seen not seen anyone really mention. Kind of wish there was, but we'll get we'll get him next year. L plan. That was the real plan, chat. What if the real plan is the plan that we make along the way? Don't give Reddit another thing to complain about. Chat, I will never play this game again because the noses don't have animations for when they get replaced. Oh, Russell, Russell has been completely shafted because Russell was just getting a DRS toe off Verstappen. 61%. He can't go to the end on these, can he? Do you reckon? I wish we'd had some mediums to put Magnuson onto, but we use them all in practice. Uh, as someone who's a relatively an FM, uh, F1 rookie, is this game worth, uh, worth it? Uh, it's really difficult for me to answer that, Nissan. What I'd say is, if you enjoy F1, I think there's a lot to enjoy about this game. And actually, if you are a newer F1 fan, you will probably have less stuff to complain about than fans who have been watching the game, uh, been watching F1 hardcore-wise for like 10 years and so have lots to nitpick. I, I enjoy the game immensely. Chat, do we really think Russell's going to try and go to the end? It's a bold move. They started on softs. Latifi is pitting. We're behind Latifi after that slow... That entire lap was just so slow. Okay, we managed to charge up the battery and stay in DRS here. And we have actually caught Alonso as well because of Perez. Why not retire K-Mag? Last race of the season. Last race of the season. If I retire him... Look, if there's a safety car chat, he comes into play. Russell's hard run. It's a gamble if they go for it. I'm so surprised Kevin Magnussen didn't have to retire with those 0% batteries. 0% batteries, 0% tyres. We just want Pusher to follow Perez through here. On these hards. Or charge. Even if... It doesn't, oh, I mean, Russell's going to get so many points if he doesn't pit. We're lapping half a lap faster than Russell, though. So that window that he has to pit behind is vanishing. If Russell pits, I think that we get Pusher seventh in the drivers. If Russell doesn't pit, he definitely gets seventh. Don't want to get left behind by Perez here. Don't think we're getting DRS. Or maybe we are. No, we're not, are we? Ah, that's annoying. DRS here would have helped us keep up with Perez. He might now drop us during the lap. Although maybe maybe Alonso can do us a favour if they squabble a little bit. What about the constructors? The constructors, I think, is pretty much sealed. We're pretty much guaranteed third. We'd have to get no points. Mercedes would have to get a 1-2, I think. And in the drivers, K-Mag is guaranteed fifth. It's pretty much Pichier and Russell fine at the end. I'll be honest, it's not the most eventful end. Although, Alfa Romeo might be about to go past Alpine. Maybe the fact I'm wearing an Alpine shirt is bad luck. 
So yeah, keep an eye on the Alpines and the Alphas. Like if Alonso gets passed by us here, Alpine's in trouble. Alonso is on the same strategy as us. I really, really need to get him here to keep the Perez toe going. Because Perez is going to get NDRS of Ocon and just drop us otherwise. Kevin is not in last anymore. Actually, no, he is. Sonoda retired, didn't he? There's another DRS zone here. Stone deploy for it. Oh, what happened to K-Mag? He hit a wall very, very hard <laughs> and had to do the entire lap with, like, a blown tyre. Signs is pitting. Signs is pitting on the two-stopper, chat. They're going on mediums to the end. So they've decided that the softs aren't a race tyre. As you know, they started on the softs. They've gone so Have they gone soft, medium, medium, or soft, hard, medium? Soft, hard, medium. Michelle's overtaken Perez. That wasn't meant to happen. Oh, charge, oh, charge. Okay, Russell's in the pits, chat. Russell is in the pits. This is big. But she has just set the fastest lap as well. But she's ahead. But she's ahead and it's not even close. It's a case of can Russell catch us? Can Russell catch us? If things stay as they are, Pacher has him in the championship. Norris in front of P Russell is nice too. What's the gap? Gap is 13 seconds. Russell has to make up 13 seconds in 18 laps. Meanwhile, Pacher is pushing. Which he probably shouldn't be doing on these hards. Kevin Magnussen might have just got Pacher the points, chat. K Mag is a genius. Hit the wall hard, blow up your tyres, then just block the leaders on the lap. Uh, I don't believe, Spag Yammer, that drivers can get injuries in this game. Issue for Pacher is we managed to clear the Alpine of Alonso, but without anyone in front of us, I don't think we're going to go much faster here. Because we're on these hards. Although Bottas is now pitting as well. Are we going to be up to P5 here? His tyres should last. It's going to be. It's not going to be super comfortable, but they should last. 18 laps. We should be okay. Fastest lap is worth a point. Ah, uh, Bottas. If Bottas gets in front of Russell, it'd be great, but I don't think he's going to come out in front. Bottas, if you can be fighting Russell. Ah, oh, Russell's cleared him. Or has he? Or has he? He hasn't. Come on, Valtteri! Valtteri has to hold us up. There's a yellow in Sector 1. Who's had a moment? Bashir is battling away with Alonso and Perez. Oh, Latifi. Chat, we've just been done by two here, but we are harvesting. Yellow in sector three now. So on ran wide. If it stays like this. We just had a we, ha we have we have Alonso uh, Russell by two points. But Russell's right behind us. Oh my god, chat. Oh my god, this is gonna be really close. We just have to hope that Perez, ourselves, and Alonso can just help each other out here. We are our own little trio trying to train along. I'm just leaving Kevin Magnus Magnuson out because Let's it's the last race of the year. Kevin, Kevin, what's happened? Kevin, are you throwing? And that spin is on I think get all this get your mistakes out of the system now, Kevin. Oh. Get your get your mistakes out of the system now. We're not retiring him, chat. I refuse to retire him. He's going to have fun on his tyres. He's going to have, you know, this is strategy. Look at that. His tyres went to 0% for people who missed it. I realise my head's a little bit in the way here. If I, if I just hide my head for a second. You can spot the point where he had a puncture when he hit a wall, can't you? <laughs> it just goes down to zero. It just It flatlines at the bottom. 
He's not had fun today. <laughs> you can see it there. Poor Kevin. How much is Russell catching a lap? Ah. It's close, but we did lose two positions last lap. If we can keep in a train with these guys, George will only catch by like three temps a lap. We just have to stay in DRS range and manage the tyres. I feel like K Mag, you know, he's got. He's, he knows that we've got third in the constructors, he knows he's got fifth in the drivers. He's just vibing. He's just vibing. He's only had two incidents so far in this race. Can he get a hat trick? Is Russell stuck? Nah, Russell's fine. I mean, we're not that far behind the leaders. What's the gap to Russell? 11 seconds. If, there's a, if there was a safety car, would I pit? I think I'd have to. I'd pit and go for softs to the end if there was a safety car now. Uh, I don't think Kevin Magnussen will hit fastest lap, will he? I think without DRS, I don't think he can get fastest lap. Without DRS and deploy, he won't get it. He's not even doing faster laps than what he did earlier in the race. We could just ask Kevin to hit the wall again, chat, and then pit for softs. Then we could go motor racing to end the race. Is it too soon to say the whole go motor racing thing? Is it too soon? I feel like ourselves in the Alpine and the Red Bull are just going long here. Ourselves and Alonso are just one stopping away. Verstappen's one stopping at the front. Russell is catching. But his current rate, I don't think he catches us. We've got extra fuel to burn. The only thing that is going to be a problem is maybe the tyres? So maybe we put the tyres on conserve just to try and make them last as much as possible. Pit Mag now and pray for a safety car. Has Magnussen been lapped yet? Yeah, Mag Magnussen's been lapped, so he can't unlap himself, sadly. So there is no point in pitting him. <laughs> Where is Verstappen? Oh, maybe he hasn't been lapped. It says put... Wait, how far is he behind? He's like... I forgot how slow that lap was, chat. Magnussen is so far behind, isn't he, because of that puncture. Is this... Danny Ricardo is in front of us, and we're a lap behind on him. We are a lap behind Ricardo in 16th. That's depressing. Max has just taken fastest lap off Teo. But, oh my word, George has lost a place to Bottas. Chat, there is three points in this. If George overtakes Bottas, he will get two more points and there'll be one point in it. Russell has to get past Pacher on track. Russell has to overtake Pacher on track to get 7th in the, in the drivers. Otherwise, it's Pacher's. Oh, it's stressing. Hey, Rambu, I appreciate the kind words. We just have to stay in DRS with these guys. Make Kevin run out of fuel. That doesn't seem like a smart play. <laughs> that, that, that might be galaxy brain, but I don't want to risk it. 
Bottas is holding up Russell. Uh, Russell is quicker than Bottas. In clean air, but Bottas just tails behind him with DRS. Like here, they're just compromising each other. This is great. Unless a safety car happens, I think Pache is getting seventh in the drivers. Tyres are in a good spot. We've been conserving these now with Teo for a bit. But the fact we're holding on to this train is good. I'm a little bit worried that Alonso might drop Perez here. Or drop behind. So I'm going to DRS here and deploy. Just to close this gap. I mean, Pacher's running in P7. Considering where we started, where we had P13 and P15, this is decent. There's another DRS zone here to have a go on Alonso. But the gaps, like these guys, are, we're all bunched up again behind Perez, which is all I really need. I feel like Perez can't get away from Alonso with DRS. Magnuson's just vibing, isn't he? Oh, this is this is stress. This is stress. I forgot we've got a prediction on getting points as well, haven't we? Russell is not closing this gap. If anything, the gap's getting bigger. He is losing so much time squabbling with Bottas. Pacher says his tyres are getting warm. But we are running in conserv... Like, I guess I could... Change the command. Kind of want to harvest battery just to be safe. Charge on, charge on. Poor K-Mag. I could just retire him, chat. But with 11 laps left, we should really just let him finish, right? I feel like at this point, we just let him finish. His tyre temps aren't too warm. I know he was saying they were warm, chat, but actually, they are barely going into the like danger area at all at the moment. What happened to Kevin Magnussen? On the last turn of the track after the pit entrance, he hit the wall, got a puncture, and had to do the entire lap with three wheels. And he basically lost an entire lap to everyone. Okay. Bottas and Russell are still fighting. Bottas just got past again as I went to check. The only scenario where Russell gets past us here is if Russell can set the fastest lap of the race and finish directly behind Pusher. That would tie them on points, and I'm not sure what the tiebreaker is then. Also, Alonso has just cleared Perez. That isn't good for us, really. Uh, you should save the engine for another race and retire, though. Thing is, Simon, this is the last race of the season. If it was any if it was any other race, we would probably like retire Magnuson now. But it is just the last race of the season. More charge off, please. Would tiebreak be highest position? I don't think Russell's won any races. I think Pacher would have the tiebreaker there. Has Pacher won a race? He's finished second. I think Pacher's only finished second. Magnussen's won four races this year. Intervals are sometimes broken. We're in range. He is gaining, but not by enough. How's the research for next season been? I actually don't know. Is there a way to actually know how much someone spun out? Yeah, yellow flag. Do I need to be ready to... Is it one of the alphas? I think they're back on track. Someone spun out. Yeah, they're fine. I was getting ready to pit, chat. I was getting ready to pit there. I haven't seen many of these races. K-Mag won four races. How? Um, I basically put all of our, re all of our development into high-speed cornering. And I did it... Because Has get the most wind tunnel time, you can get some pretty powerful upgrades. 
And because we only have a factory that's like at a low level, we could only design two parts at once. So I basically did two parts and then had like 40 hours in the wind tunnel for each. And I put them all on high speed cornering so that when the upgrades came for Silverstone, we were the fastest high speed cornering track, uh, car on the grid. And then we were able to win Monza thanks to a safety car. We won at Zanvoort in the rain thanks to a safety car that Pacher caused. What else did we win? We won the French Grand Prix on actual pace. And I feel like there was one more. Two of the wins have come via... One was the Zanvoort race where Pacher hit a wall. We pitted under the safety car for dries whilst it was still raining. And by the time the safety car had come in, it was dry on track for the for the dry tyres. Oh, Suzuka. Suzuka was the other one. And that was probably the race where Ma that was like the easy... I want to say it was the easiest one. Magnussen did spin out on the last lap and nearly ruin it all. But yeah, Suzuka, Magnussen just had the perfect race. Yeah, Zanvoort was a bit like a modern day crash gate where we had a crash happen at just the right time. Also, chat, is it just me or with the stand-up desk? Am I a bit low in frame? I feel like I should be a bit higher like this. Maybe not. Maybe I'm fine. Maybe I'm overthinking. Maybe I should wear heels. I'm not sure that's going to be... I could, you know, I could just lower the standing desk by an inch and then it's fine. Let's do that. That makes more sense. Uh, I kind of want to pass this Alpine, but then the Alpine's shown that it keeps in touching distance, so maybe it's fine. Eight laps on these hards have not. When we've been conserving on these hards, it's not. It's not really made a difference. Can reduce and lift off a bit? How's the update been? It's the only race I've done, Jagrino, and like the update is pretty minor. And I feel like in the stuff it fixes, but it's not. It's not. Nothing's broken, so that's good. If a safety car happened, would I pit for share? Would I just put him on softs to the end? Or would I hold track position over Russell on worn hards when he's on slightly less hard worn mediums? Hmm. Closest to the end we get, the less likely a pit stop benefits us is. Our battery's charged enough to, like, defend for a lap, I think, okay. What happened to K-Mag in this race, Connor? He hit a wall. It's the first time I've seen it. He hit a wall on the last corner after the pit entrance. Didn't have to retire, but his left rear was punctured. It was down to 0%, so he had to drive the entire lap on three wheels, and he lost about a lap to everyone. Get fastest lap with K-Mag. What, just to take scientist point away from him? Everyone is catching K-Mag. Russell's not catching us. We've got this unless there's a safety car. We don't want a safety car now. I don't really want Magnussen to get lapped here because he won't be able to unlap himself. That's one thing they definitely need to fix in this game. If a driver gets lapped, so for example, if Leclerc here laps uh, Kevin, even if Kevin's quicker, he won't unlap himself. So with that in mind, it's kind of in my interest just to make sure Kevin doesn't get caught. I've got to manage these tyres on Pacher. I think we're fine. I think Perez and Alonso are in the same situation where they've got to conserve, and Russell is just stuck fighting Bottas anyway. They're in their own little two-man battle. We well, just have to make sure these tyres last. Where's K-Mag in the championship? He's fifth in the drivers. If there's a safety car now, chat, it is art imitating life. We don't want a safety car now. A safety car is the worst thing possible for us, because the one-stop is going to work. Need to make sure we're in DRS zone for the next lap, uh, for the next turn. 
Uh, there's a yellow flag, Sector 3. Who's had a moment? Someone ran wide. Okay, that's fine. Did we get DRS here? We didn't get DRS, de the DRS here. That's not good. Please squabble. Please squabble. I don't want to push these tyres. Okay, they, they squabbled. We're fine. We're fine. If we get dropped from the DRS of Perez, I think a Russell could catch us in a few laps on these tyres, because these tyres are going to hit a cliff soon. There's a few other cars running the exact same strategy as, like, look, a Verstappen, for example. Six laps to go, six laps. Oh, six laps on these tyres is not fun. How long are these races normally? I mean, I, I like playing through them at a slower speed. Just because I think it's nicer for me to be able to interact with you guys and chat and like talk about, you know, more detailed stuff. The average race weekend for me takes about an hour and a half. But if you were playing for the game more quickly, I reckon you could do the races. How long do you reckon? I reckon you do a race weekend in about an hour if you were faster with it all. I think for YouTube, the race weekend's about an hour and a half. On stream, it's probably a tiny bit longer. Just because it, it's kind of... I, the thing I really like about this game is it's a shit... We've lost the DRS again. And Alonso's lost it as well. That's really, really bad. But yeah, this game is just kind of chill that I can... Just chat with you guys. Whilst I play at regular speed. Am I Alonso, an Alonso fan? I've, Dan, Danny Rick is definitely my favourite driver on the grid. Alonso is probably my second favourite. Is, is that K-Mag in front? We have five laps how, you, how are you doing, Kevin? He's not been lapped by Leclerc yet. Oh, wait, no, he has been. Oh, is it Perez who's next up the road? Did Hamilton clear Magnussen? Yeah. Man, the faster cars are a lot quicker than us. Alonso's lost DRS and Russell's going to catch us here. These tyres are bad. I mean, we're going to get DRS off Fernando. I should probably look to slingshot here. I don't think we can slingshot, though. I was going to say, with Alonso without DRS, slingshot and to try and get ahead of him and then get into Perez's DRS might be the play. But we've not got the speed. Our car is not fast. We qualified P15 and P13. What happened to K-Mag? He crashed. What do I think about uh, Fernando going to Aston Martin? It's a bold move, isn't it? I mean, he, he's claimed the reason he wants to go there is because it's like a, a more stable seat for the coming years for him. Is it a two-year deal he signed with Aston Martin? Inherently, it's a gamble, but I don't think Aston Martin could be much worse than they have been this year. And, I mean, they're going to get a lot of wind tunnel time. So... <laughs> With the new regs and stuff, it's hard to know how much they'll be able to eke out of that. Like, clearly things aren't great there right now, but I feel like a driver like Alonso might might be able to make a big difference. Like the amount of performance he's getting out of that Alpine is mad at the moment. And whilst I don't... Oh my god, Kevin. Kevin! Kevin! Two you do with the option of a third, yeah. I mean, some people are saying he's secure in the bag, but if I was him, I think he knows that if he stays another year at Alpine, because I think the, the rumours are he's only offered a one-year deal. If he only spends one year at Alpine, the reality is that he might not find himself with a drive at the end of that year, whereas the Aston Martin seat is free now. Shout, these tyres are going to be mega marginal. And lift off. Russell is going to have to get past Kevin. Not going to be for a few laps, but Kevin Magnussen might still have a role to play. Perez, by the way, has vanished four seconds up the road. That's how powerful the DRS is here. I feel like in-game DRS is too powerful. Like, it's kind of easy managing the battery to stay in touch and distance of, like, the Red Bulls, which evidently without DRS are so much faster than us. Can we just ask Ke Kevin to just block on purpose? Let's see, Kevin is now faster... Then us, but he won't unlap himself. I might just tell him to conserve. The last thing I want to do is have Kevin here behind. 
right? Try, like, unable to unlap himself, and then he just crashes into the back of Teo by locking up. Charge on. I think this is this Charge is a, this is a this is a decision about being sensible for people who are newer viewers. Drivers don't unlap themselves in game. Three laps to go. And the last thing I need is a lapped Kevin Magnussen who's just stuck behind his teammate, our other driver, trying to go too fast. I might have to really go and conserve here with these tyres, mind you. All that saving we've done has not helped. We've been following behind Fernando and just eating these tyres. Oh, chat, it's going to be close at the end. They're now nine seconds behind, but I'm concerned about how steep this cliff on this wear is going to be at the end. So just as a refresher for people coming in, we're trying to get Pusher in his rookie season. He joined four races into the season, seventh in the Drivers' Championship. If things stay as they are right now, he will finish one point ahead of Russell. He will finish one point ahead of Russell. If Russell overtakes us, he's eight and a half seconds behind. If George gets past us... The, uh, he get he gets the spot. I really can't afford George Russell to get into DRS. There's only two laps left. Two and a half laps for us. I mean, a VSC or a safety car now and the race is done. Russell's catching by two seconds a lap, but we've had to go mega conserve mode here. And he is eight seconds behind. He should be fine. I could really do with Bottas, just having a little bit of a scrap with him, just to make it sure. I think we're fine. My only concern is how much of a cliff these tyres drop off at the end. Is it all worth trying to get past Alonso? I don't think we can get past Alonso. If I'm going to try for it, I would try next lap. Uh, the super license point uh, point system isn't in the game, Tomo. Oh my god, don't go into the back of him. Um, these tyres are bad. They're really, really bad. You had a window earlier, I think. I didn't have a I didn't have a window to tire pit earlier. If we pit at any point during this race, um Russell would have overtaken us. By the way, did they I assume they cleared Magnuson. Overtake is available if you need it. They did. Copy. Kevin, you can push now. Last lap. Last lap. Can we get Pusher? Charge on, charge on. Russell's six seconds behind going into the last lap. Last lap, last lap. But the tyres have hit the 30% range. I can't push on these tyres. These tyres have got burnt quickly. Pichet eats tyres for breakfast. Like, his uh, smoothness attribute is one of his worst, I think. It's definitely not good. I mean, he's not a great driver anyway, but he's 18. Also... Did we not get DRS there? We didn't. Oh! oh, and he's got DRS off of Williams. Oh, Williams has given him DRS. That's bad. That's really bad. So you can push a bit more? I think this is fine. I think we're fine. As long as he doesn't make a mistake in the last few laps, Pacher will finish ahead of Russell by one point in the drivers. Oh, Bottas has overtaken Russell. Bottas, Valtteri. Valtteri, I love you. Valtteri, I love you. I didn't harvest too much. We're fine. We're fine. We used up the perfect amount of battery. 7% in it. Teo, you beautiful man. Magnussen finishing his season. He is, he's fifth in the drivers. Give him some credit.
Oh, the Magnuson block chat might have been that difference maker. When Magnuson blew his tyre, that block might have actually got us it. Shout out to Kevin. Shout out to Kevin Magnuson, even when he's in last. Someone spun. Who's had a spin? Who do you reckon? Gasly? No. Oh, was it Pacher? Has Pacher spun at the end of the race? I hope not. Oh. Chat, prediction payout. Will we score points? Yes. Never in doubt. Never in doubt. We got points. Pacher made up six places there doing the one stop. Interesting note, Alonso did the one stop as well. I'll tell you what, that safety car that bunched us up with Alonso was big. Because without that safety car, Alonso would have been so much further up the track that we wouldn't have had that tow. Kevin Magnuson at the bottom. We don't talk, we don't talk about Kevin. We don't talk about Kevin. Signs, by the way, won the race there on a two stopper. So the two stopper did work if you peered at the right time and had a fast car. There's the final standings. Teo Pacher, last race of the season, gets ahead of George Russell. Mick could never. Mick could never. And K-Mag got fifth. I wonder if k I, I don't know if uh, your drivers can get poached. Be kind of cool if they could, because I imagine after this season, Magnuson probably would. Oh, development points. Happy days. Mick would have won the Drivers' Championship. Look, chat, we'll never know. So I've never done the end of a season now. I have no idea what's going to happen now. I guess, you know, there'll be some of you who have played this game like crazy and played quicker than me. You probably have done the end of a season, but I think for most people, this will probably be the first time seeing it. Both drivers have got a development point. Actually, apparently Pacher smoothness is one of his best things. I mean, it's still not amazing in F1 terms, but... I guess it was just following in that traffic that whole time. Uh, I'm going to up his accuracy, I think. And then we've got one for Magnussen, which is going in overtake. If you're new around here, we're just trying to get Kevin Magnussen to 99 overtaking. That, that is the subplot of this entire Haas Let's Play. And Logan Sargent, we're just saving all the development points as the, as the reserve driver. I just want to have a day where I open them all at once, you know? Mick could never. Mick wouldn't have won a race chat. No, 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 no. So Magnuson's got two years left on his contract. Sergeant's got three. And Pacher's here for four more years. Okay, so we can't design or manufacture anything anymore. A remarkable season. I'm a bit concerned about the expectations for next year because we are not going to have wind tunnel time like we did this year. Finance is satisfied. What do you mean? There's no debt. I've done great. I've done brilliantly. I'm, I'm, I'm scared. Four-year contract on, uh, on, on a rookie F1 is a lot. Look, I've this is the Pacher project. Oh, the team ups upgraded. Happy days. Important email. Oh, it's just, just that. Move on. Move on. Oh God. Okay. We, we ended the season. I've got the achievement L plan. Whatever that is. Okay, take a, take a screenshot, drink that in. Send that to my mum in an email to show her how good I am. So our aim for 2024 is to have podiums in 25% of races. And everything got better, right? Everything got better, except heritage. Sad. But third in the constructors is mad with Hass year one. Board confidence high. Team bonus is good. So I've not seen any of this stuff. So I'm not sure what this is going to involve. So you've got pit performance. The new season approaching, I wanted to give you an update on where you might see a lower performance from our pit crew. Between the regulations, the pit crew is getting a little rusty. Oh, they're, they're really bad. They're really, really bad. Can I move my head to the side, chat? Of course I can move my head to the side for you guys. Is that better? I feel like I can go with this one, Philip. I feel like this is better on non-race days. Okay, regulation changes. Oh, yeah, the voting changes came through for the prize money changes, right? So the rich get richer. 
So there is now a bonus point for getting poll chat next year. So if you do well on if you do well on the Saturday, bonus point. Lots of reduction to high speed performance, which is bad because that is our best area. So as the team had one of the best high speed performances, we get a greater reduction. And then prize money wise, we didn't vote for this. Here, here at the work the space team, you know, team place, team place, official terminology. This is the team place. I let you guys in chat vote for regulations for me. We set up a poll. You guys didn't want the this money change. The AI did want it. Aston Martin, who finished second to last, said, hey, we want it. So if we finish this place next year, we get a million less. So we are now in a world where the rich get richer. I've just realized, do we get 56 million for our placement this year coming third? We get less wind tunnel time, and our facilities are bad. So we're going to get way less kind of good upgrades, I guess, as the season goes on. Okay, race sim has been upgraded. Can I update this again? Because this is all about experience gain. I'm doing it. You can't stop me, chat. I'm spending all my money upgrading the race simulator. Second season syndrome is going to be hard, I fear. Like, we, we spent this year upgrading the operational facilities... Upgrading, well, I say upgrading the staff facilities, up, upgrading the race simulator and the team hub. But our actual development facilities are a bit behind. So it's, it's going to be a difficult year, I fear. But we did do a lot of research on bits. Uh, staff changes. Uh, here's our in annual post chat. Did I not sort our staff? Do I want to keep our technical chief? Do we want to keep Duresta around? Is there a better... Is there a better... How much is he on a week? He's on 2.8 million. He's an 81 rated technical chief. Surely there's a better technical chief out there. Hmm. Maybe, maybe there's not. I don't know if these people are real or who. if any of these are, are regens. I don't want to offend anyone by assuming they're regens or not. Is there an easy way to know if they're they're real or fake people? I have no idea. A 36-year-old, okay. With 77 overall. Surely they'll develop quite well. I'd think. Right? Like a 36-year-old who's only four ratings lower. Is that better? Just to, to, the way that staff development works is young a younger staff gonna be better longer term. I guess we're not officially at the end of the season because Simeon rest is here, but I'm kind of tempted just to let him go. Uh, driver changes. Okay, Pachet already has a long-term deal. Magnuson's here for two years and Sergeant's here longer term. 49 months left. To be fair, we're paying him quite cheap, so it's fine. Is Resta good? People are saying that Resta is, is one of the better ones. Maybe. maybe. Should, we, should we see if he wants... We did try and renew his contract before, and he was a mega knobhead about it. I'm going to send him the same contract I sent him previously. How much do you want, mate? Do you think we're made of money here? We're bloody hass. We've not had the prize money come through yet, son. Oh, now he's going to sign in. He's all about the money. Actually, it wasn't... It, 300,000 pounds more. I should assume that's an annual salary. Oh, yeah, that is an annual salary. So it literally is not even that big of an increase. Right, renew it. Yeah, it's 300k lump sum. We're paying 300k more over the entire year. It's not that bad. It's like, what, 225,000 a month? He's getting paid more than uh, Teo. Our Red Bull and Ferrari, the only teams of higher rated. Noted. I think our other staff aren't that great. Like, maybe I could look at a new race engineer. We can just have a look, I suppose, at what there is. Like, Ben Mitchell is interested in negotiating with us. He's currently at Aston Martin. He is 84 rated. That's a pretty big upgrade, isn't it? 84 is bigger than 77, chat. We've already scouted him as well, I think. 
How much does he want? His current con- He is not on a big current contract, is he? This guy's a big upgrade. Car 2. That's fine. That's the right one. I don't think I can get Bono, chat. I don't think I can get Bono. We can't tell him our tyres are gone. I don't know what, like, co standard contract negotiations are. I probably overpaid for him there. But it's not a bit... 1.5 million? Costs us 2 million? Ch chat, I can't get Bono. All right, we've got Benny Mitchell in. He's decent. He is a lot better than what we had previously. Kevin Magnussen with a better race engineer. He's going to win the Drivers' Championship. I believe. No one else does. What about head of aerodynamics? Uh, not great. What if I just... Okay, so yeah, I've got it on only available for negotiation. So there's all, the, there's all these other guys, but they won't even talk to me. Oh, he's announced his retirement. Fair play. Eric Balbo. Negative outlet towards team. Negative outlet. Look, Balbo. Who do you think you are, son? You little Mr. Bean looking wannabe. Not happy. Not happy. If you ever seem happens to watch this video, Balbo, I didn't mean it. I just got I got caught up in the moment. Bono. Negative outlet towards the team. So only the ones here are realistic. I want the best staff possible, but I don't I Literally don't think it's worth going for any of the others because they're not that bigger in upgrades. Let's have a quick look at that. What was the head of aero? Dirk De Beer. Good name, De Beer. De Beer. Think of the puns, chat. We can just drink alcohol. How much is our current guy on? We don't know how good he is. Right. Let, let's get a detailed scout report. It's not like the person who does his job actually has a contract expiring. I can't believe that Bono didn't want to come to us. I'm so sad. See, I've not done any of this stuff before. Have people done this bits before? Like the end of the season, it's kind of all different and new. Okay, suspension research done. Look at this performance maintained. What, what's our... Oh, God, chat. Okay, so this is our current state of the car before the end of the season. I feel like I should screenshot this just in case we need it for future reference. You can see why we struggled at the end of the year, can't you? We abandoned developing the car just to research. I'm scouting Dirk at the moment because I don't know what his demands are going to be. More research. We're bloody. We're like bloody researchers at this team, aren't we? We're doing all the research. Uh, car park development, new project research. Can we do some more? ATR period is next season. So these are oh, the chat. This is the last few hours we've got. Wait. Oh wait, no. I've used it all. I've used all the development time. Can we just start a new research thing now? It will be done for the new season. I, haven't, I, I guess we just do these till Feb. I won't won't reach completion. Never mind. We literally can't do any more research. To be fair, we've used all our hours. I wasn't sure how it was going to work at the end of season bits. Logan Sargent chat. He's got five development points now. Five development points now. Oh. I'll tell you what. We're going to have very fun, like, a lot of fun the one day where I decide just to use them all. I was going to use a, a much more not graphic but not as eloquent word shall we say. Began with S and ended in AF. Uh, De Beer scouting report done. He's 83 rated. So do do these staff members have potential in the same way that um, drivers do? It doesn't look like they do. So our current head of aerodynamics is Melvin. Sorry, Melvin. I think you're going to be leaving us, mate. And he's on 2.5 million. So this guy does want more money, but he's probably also worth it. Five-year deal, De Beer? 
This is not a cheap hiring process, I realise. 420. It's a good number. Let's go with it. They don't have potential differences, but they do develop. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. He wasn't that happy about the salary, but he has agreed to it. Five-year deal? People, is he one of the better staff members? Is it a mistake to have him that, like, have him on a contract that long? Maybe I've made that too long. I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it? I feel like at 83 rated, he's not going to be terrible. He's, the, he's like comfortably the best that we can get. Let's have a quick look. Head, head of aerodynamics, if I get rid of this. Oh, wow. Okay. He's literally the second best in F1. Is that right? Or did I... That can't be right, can it? I guess it is. I guess he is just the second best. I wonder if he'll retire early. Actually, no, he's only 59, chat. People say he looks 70. Leave, leave the beer alone. Chat, it says something new. It says start pre-season. Check drivers. Gasly? Gasly's a free agent? Alonso is a free... I mean, Gasly's not bad, but who would you bring him in for? Norris is available, but he would cost a lot to break his contract. Thing is, who, who would you bring any of these drivers in for? Drop for K-Mag. Could we really drop... Are you guys trying to talk me into dropping Kevin? Is that what's happening? You're saying Lando for K-Mag? Drop Pacher for Gasly? I can't drop Pacher, but we could go double French. How old is Magnussen? I feel like the Danish viewers aren't going to be happy if they wake up in the morning and find out I've got rid of Kevin. I mean, the Magnussen is 80 rated. I, I, feel like, I feel like, chat, we probably have to... have to tweet out this. Would Lando be the one to go for? I'll take it. This is a good thing. We'll take a screenshot of this and tweet it. People are going to come flock into the chat going, no, not Kevin. Chat, could I really get rid of Kevin? If I get rid of Kevin, is there a chance... Will he get a job elsewhere on the grid, do you reckon? Bring back Mick. Loyalty for Kevin, that's where I'm at. Are there any mods about? I feel like I need a, I need a poll here. I want to get I want to get a good idea of the the lay of the land in terms of opinion of the viewers. Could we be, could we could we really bin off Kevin? Or do we go double French with Pierre? The thing is Pierre is older by 3 years than Lando, but he is a free agent, so he's going to be easier to negotiate. Or do we just keep the keep the team? Mick's still a free agent chap. Piastri's a... F what if we went with two young guns? No, people don't People don't like Piastri. People don't like... Chat, there's a, po there's a poll. Do we bin off K-Mag? He's had a great year. It'd be a bit heartless to bin him off, wouldn't it? If we got in Pierre Gassi, we could go all French. 
I, I don't know what to do. Chat wants blood, apparently. I thought there would be more, a lot more people going, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Don't get, don't get rid of Kevin. But from the looks of it, people want Kevin gone. He's won four races. What if we move Pasher to reserve? Could we do that? Could we move Pasher to reserve? And then bin off Sergeant. Is that sensible? Like, I like the idea of Logan Sergeant, but we can get him later. It's not like he's going to retire as an American. He might develop better elsewhere. Like, in a few years, we might bring him back. Think of the narrative. It's not that unrealistic in real life for teams to demote one of their drivers to reserve. I'm looking at you, Alex Albon. Sorry, bro. Um, it, it does happen. Let's see if Pacher's interested in it at all first. Oh, he did not like that, did he? Bloody hell. Right, but Teo, I don't want to make you really angry here. I will give, I'll give you a pay rise. The issue is chat. Let's just see if this is possible, because I don't know if it is possible. He really doesn't... He really hates the idea. He refuses to accept a reserve position. Kick Kev. Are we really kicking Magnuson? Is this really what's happening? Chat is out for blood. What about if we get Pierre in as a reserve? This is never going to work, is it? I'll give you 50k more than Pichet to be our reserve, Pierre. This is never going to work. But I just want to see what's possible. That's not going to work, is it, as a negotiation? I feel like I want to keep K-Mag. People want blood for Teo. I don't like this. Deeks, thank you for the tip, mate. Let me get it up so I can actually see if you included a message here. Because I feel like... Well, maybe you didn't include a message, but if you did, I want to make sure I see it. Dude, thank you, though, for the donor. I appreciate it. Did you, did you leave a message? B please bring in Lando. <sighs> Keep K-Mag bin Lando. Uh, no, be, bin Teo. This is the Teo project, the Pacher project. I need to sit down. You know what, chat? Sitting down is going to help me be calmer here. Oh, I'm getting I'm getting stressed thinking about it. K Mag is 30. He's 80. I feel like he's a walking issue. How much is how much is Kevin on? The thing is, Lando's going to be on big money, you'd imagine, at McLaren. So Kevin is currently on 4.3 million. Costs 4 million to break his contract. I mean, Pacher is so cheap. Um, Chat, I didn't really want to change the drivers anyway. I don't think we can actually afford it. I'm going to be honest. I feel like, in hindsight, I should have saved more money for at the end. Chat, there is a wall of you all screaming different stuff and I don't know what to do. I'm going to try something bold. Nate Kendall, dude, thank you for the cheer. Lando's on about 9 mil a week, Jack, by the way. I'm doing my clan chat. Lando is on 9 million a week. I, I cannot afford that. Lando is not an option. The poll was 58% to 42. 
Gasly's a free agent. If I bring in Gasly as a reserve, is that a cowardly move? Oh, sorry, now nine mil a year. Sorry, nine mil a year. I misread it, chat. I'm because I'm so used to playing football manager where the wages are in a week. There's no way he accepts this. Let's just let's just see. Magnuson's currently on four mil. Gassy's a free agent. I have no idea, like, on negotiations, like, what is expected. He wants a lot of money. I don't think we... Ch Ch genuinely, I don't think we can afford it. I think we give Pacher another year. This is probably Magnuson's last year. And we, and we see what happens at the end. We we can't like the the cost to break Madison's contract is four million. People are saying they sign Gasly for seven million. I don't think we can afford it. We don't want to go full blown Derby County here, chat. We can't do it. We cannot chat, we don't have the money. We don't have the money. Sponsor obligations for the season. Oh, I've not done these before. Uh, okay, can I edit this? So driver appearance, K-Mag's going to do all the appearances. And experience chat. This is short term with Kevin Magnuson. Kevin Magnuson is just going to earn us a load of money. Race, hospitality, pit cruise performance will be dropped. Uh, factory event, manufacturing is paused. I don't, I don't want that. I can't make it lower. Can't make that one lower. Do we even have that kind of money? Oh, we have it up here. Let's go with that. Race simulator event. The race simulator's weekly experience is reduced for the week of each event. No. No, 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 no. That's what we want. That's what we want, chat. We have a lot of money now, but we're going to need to invest it. I've done all the driver appearances on Magnuson. Chat, I, I think not getting in a new driver is sensible for now, because I think we're going to be behind the curve quite a lot this season. We have barely any wind tunnel time. We did manage to reduce the uh, loss in a lot of areas, though. In fact, we... We might have an okay car. Oh, chat. We have to pick a manufacturer. This is why we need money. Is it sick again for the expectations? Chat. We're currently with Ferrari. But we could change... I mean, is Red Bull better here? Ferrari's more fuel efficient. Hmm. Is Red Bull's better? Better durability on the gearbox. Worse durability on the ERS, though. But it has got more power overall. Is Red Bull's is cheaper... Or you could go Mercedes. What's Mercedes actually better in? Thermal resistance. Red Bull saves you five mil. Oh, yeah, you only get two ERS systems. That's true. I think we maybe just stick with Ferrari. Although, I mean, Red Bull strengths are really good, but the, the biggest issue is the fuel efficiency and the ERS durability. And also, it will wear more. Fuel 
Fuel has always been a problem for us. I think Ferrari might just be the play chat. We stick with we stick with what we're already on. I think Ferrari's is the best overall. I think we can afford it because of all the prize money we got from finishing third. And I think it's just worth it for the overall power difference. Oh, I say power difference, the overall balance. But Red Bull does have the better power. I mean, what does 5% equate into? We don't really know. Renault for the fuel. Just ignore the fact they're bad at everything. Good wear resistance, good fuel efficiency. Chat, I'm torn on Red Bull or Ferrari here. Should we get a poll? Mods, can we do a poll for like a minute? Speedy poll. I'm willing to let you guys have some say here. Ferrari's what we know, and it's probably the most well-balanced one. On the flip side, Red Bull has wor the worst fuel efficiency and the worst ERS durability, which does concern me slightly. I feel like with how important the RS is, like, it depends. The last poll didn't matter. The thing with the last poll was, Rocco, I literally couldn't afford to change the drivers. The, the, the thing is, people are saying, like, um, Red Bull and more money for development. I can only develop two parts at a time. So the extra money with development isn't actually going to make that bigger a difference. I'm leaning towards the Ferrari, to be honest. I'm leaning towards the Ferrari. I think we're already upgrading the factory. Ferrari is leading the poll right now. Who's it going to be? Ferrari or Red Bull? I think Ferrari's edged it out. I was leaning towards Ferrari anyway. I don't think the 5 million is going to make that bigger a difference, chat. It's what we already use. Ambrose, thank you so much for some of the tier 1 for a whole year. That deserves a Julian Brandt, yeah. Julian Brandt! Yeah! Oh, it's beautiful. Going into depth is how I got fired from Williams in my second season. You know what, the Alpha Victor, I'm going to bear that in mind. Oh, De Beers here. ATR allocations. Oh, chat. We got a lot more time last year, and we don't get time this year. Okay, who's gone where, chat? Who's gone where? Okay, Ferrari and Red Bull are the same. Is Mick going to be in this list, chat? Chat, is Mick going to be in this list? This is big. Has Mick held a drive? Has, are we there? Okay, no changes in the front four teams. Fernando Alonso is still at Alpine. With Esteban Ocon. Alfa Romeo, Gasly and Bottas. Oh, oh, just keep going. Is Mick going to be here? Alpha Tari is Vettel and Albon. McLaren are unchanged. McLaren have got Piastri as a reserve. Could never happen. Williams is Sonoda and Mick Schumacher. He's back, everyone. He's back. I'm so happy. Oh, he's replaced Latifi. He's replaced Latifi. Biblical scenes. <laughs> he's replaced Latifi. <laughs> Go, Tifi died for Mick. It's the saddest thing ever. We have to tweet it out. <laughs> Season two on Friday is going to be great. Insane. Uh, Latifi died. So that Mick could drive in 2023. Poetic. <laughs> oh, chat, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. No, Latifi. Get Latifi as reserve driver. Some of you want to make the world burn. 
Aston Martin at Guan Yuzhou and Stroll. Vettel going to Alpha Tauri is interesting. Going, going back to the Red Bull teams. Oh. Sergeant's a fraud anyway. Getting Latifi. Alpha Romeo will be pretty good this year, I think. Okay. I think our research was okay for our car. There's lots of green stuff there. Although the high speed has gone down. Chat, should we see where we are? Rank on the grid. Are you ready, chat? I'm scared. That's good. That's good. We need to work on low speed cordway, but that is better than where we left things last season. How are we compared to Mercedes? Ah, Mercedes have us beaten in a few areas. I think we're fourth best team. Compared to the grid average, we're in an okay spot. Ah, yeah, our cooling is not good. Ah, uh, yeah, low speeds are going to need work. Do we have time to develop stuff now before the end of the, before the season starts? Chat. I don't know how that works. That's decent, though. I guess it's... You can't... I mean, can can you get drivers in now? Is anyone a free agent? It'd be worth getting in. Latif, Latifi. Latifi chat. I mean, with this filter, Lando is still available for negotiations. Danny Rick. Still there. I can't believe that Latifi's out the sport chat. Wait, we have two million chat. We have two million. Even though I wanted anyone, I can't get them in right now. Atin66, thank you for someone with the tier one. We have no money chat. We have no money. In terms of money, we have no money. <laughs> Literally no money. I don't even know if we can afford to develop parts to start the season. Note to self, save more money at the end of the season. Um, I feel like we want something that's going to focus on low speed and cooling, right? Engine and brake cooling are separate, but they are our two weakest areas. I think we get a front wing that has good low speed cornering and good brake cooling, and then we get in a good side pod. Chat, we're not getting Goatee feed as a reserve. That was not a work the space sanctioned... Uh, <laughs> that was not a work the space sanctioned poll. We get so much less wind tunnel time now. So if you're optimised for cooling, we can get the cooling up and the speed up. I think that's the play. We could optimise the error, but our calling's already bad. I think we go for calling. And if we stick five engineers on it, it'll be done for the start of the season. I think Bahrain's not for a little bit. And then front wing with a focus on low speed cornering. I think I can actually afford to save a little bit of time here. I'm going to save a little bit just in case we can do more. That really doesn't give us the upgrades I was hoping it would. Maybe I should just dump all the time into it. Uh, they have tweaked the sliders. Should we have a look at you, chat? They did tweak the sliders. So apparently, if you do now drag everything to the right, it does come with drawbacks. What are the drawbacks? Oh, it take is it that it takes longer? Oh, there's a reset period before the race in 82 days. So in that case, we might as well use all the time. It still looks like it's pretty good. Does it cost more? 
I mean, that still seems to be a pretty effective way of doing stuff. I'm going to stick to the presets. I think sticking to the presets, it makes it funner. It takes longer. Does it take that much longer, though? Uh, do we go with that? I'm confused why it says, like, new will be third. Does that, does that mean it's the third best front wing on the grid? And the best medium wing, and then overall this is what we get. Oh, if you can in summary, you can see how much longer it takes. So how much longer does it take if you drag them all to the right? I mean, that's just not significant enough for a difference, right? Like, you'd have all those upgrades done for the start of the season and have, like, the best in everything. Oh, it's third best in staff, staff expertise, do we think? I'm going to stick to doing the presets, chat. I think it's just a more balanced way of playing the game. If we start getting absolutely shafted and it feels like maybe we shouldn't be using the presets, we will. Doesn't really solve our cooling, though. What if we go optimize cooling? It doesn't improve our low speed stuff at all. Uh, the Alpine save is exclusively on YouTube, Ben Yates. What if I just upgrade the low speed as well, chat? I don't understand what this means, where this is like saying seventh, and then you drag it to the right, it says third. Does anyone know what that means? That seems really weird for me. I think we go for low speed. Uh, this is season two. Oh, it's the rank for the car park. I mean, that's why I assumed it was. All engineers, not why not make a second part? Because we've already got a second one being made. Oh, okay. So it's, it is specific for the part. That's what I thought it was. Okay. Race simulator upgrade has ha happened as well. So we now have the best race simulator we can have. So that's good. That's going to help with weekly driver experience game quite significant. So our factory's been upgraded as well. So that's going to allow us to design more parts in the future. I kind of forgot that we had that coming in. But still good news for us. And the factory's going to be done soon so we can manufacture more parts as well. Our money situation is still rough. I assume we get a lump sum at some point. Oh, Sergeant's up to six development points. Let's keep saving them. Feel sad that we won't see any Gatifi crashes this season. Me too. Me too. Okay, factory's upgraded. Uh, our suspension simulator is in poor condition. Yeah, we probably should upgrade this part, but we can't afford it. <laughs> Chat. Our facilities at Hass are so bad. This is after upgrades, by the way. Hass have like some of the worst facilities. We don't get Latifi crashes anymore, chat, but we do get Mick crashes. And whenever Mick does well, you'll be able to tell me that I was an idiot. Man, but Lando Norris is on 9 million a year with a buyout fee of 14 million. Chat, we would have to save all our pennies forever to be able to afford him. Like, our two drivers, com our drivers combined are on... 5 million. Lando Norris is literally on twice as much as all our drivers. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, we don't, I, I used all the engineers chat because I forgot about the upgrade coming to the design complex. But we've got the new side pods. So if we do a design now... I have no time left to put in, but we can still do it. 
It's going to take 50 days. When's the reset period on stuff? 30 days. Am I better off going 18 days into the next ATR period? Before I can kick stuff, up, uh, kick stuff off? Or do I wait? Oh, we do have more money now. We are actually making money. Because our overheads are so low, this year might just be a year of saving money. I probably should have saved some of this time, but we're learning, chat, because it's the start of a new season. I'm hoping that some people are sat here, are watching it, taking notes, thinking, okay, now I know what I need to not do for, for, for when I do my start of season. Uh, just trying to look at what we've got here. Our low speed cornering is still bad, isn't it? Although this helps with speed if we just do this. Oh yeah, we should probably start deal with the facilities as well, chat. Let me kick this off because this is cheap anyway. Oh, we do it's done in quicker time if I set up guys. So if I put two on it, that will be done. The 23rd ahead of the Bahrain Grand Prix, although we won't have time to manufacture it then. Uh, in fact, let's just put everyone on this. Then they'll be done by the time the ATR period comes around. Uh, we won't be doing any more races tonight. Yeah, so today chat is all about now. Just get We want to get everything set up for the start of the new season. There won't be a stream tomorrow, but on Friday, starting 8 p.m. UK time, which is whatever time it is for you now, take five hours off it. We're going to do the first four races of the season, I think. At least three, hopefully four is what I'm going to aim for. So Friday night, you know, after you've gone from work, you sat home at home ready to play F1 manager yourself. Come out, hang out here. We're going to be here all evening. I can design three parts at a time, but if I spread my resources across uh, MV Adams, um, we will, the parts that we design will run into the next ATR reset period and also mean that we don't get a second set of upgrades sooner. Uh, I don't really want to refurbish these guys. I just want to upgrade them. I assume if I upgrade, that eliminates the need to refurbish. Uh, and then we can manufacture the side pods as well. We've got loads of time to do it. Happy days. And we've got the new front wing as well. So we get four of these made. We're showing a pretty good spot, I think. Oh, I just realised, chat, I've manufactured those side pods, but we're actually upgrading the side pods again. So we're going to get... We're going to have some spare side pods for the season. Sergeant's now got eight development points. I feel like the drivers are um, improving a lot. Poor oh, boardroom condition. What do you mean? Chat, the money's not good, by the way. Although it goes up quite a lot. Okay, these side pods I've just made are going to be outdated by the time we get to... Doing stuff. If I start one more part with the designers, is it actually going to make a difference? I think we go for speed. Uh, although our engine calling's not good. But is that without our new stuff? Is it because I've not... Let me cancel this. I think if we install the stuff that we've manufactured, our car will change. We've got new side pods. And then... Is it... No, it's front wing. There's some bits that I feel like the game doesn't... They're just not very logical in terms of how the game works. Like, you have to, like, do some weird calculations in your head to make stuff work. So 
So low speed cornering has improved a little bit with those upgrades. And now if we go to design projects again with those bits installed, I think now it'll have the updated positionings. Yeah, you can see it's like different input packs now because now the engine calling's up in seventh. So you have to make sure you have the, all the parts fitted when you manufacture them. You can you can design parts without wind tunnel time, but the upgrades are really minimal. But at a point like this right now, I might as well be doing them. Uh, I'm just thinking if I wanted to so side pods, we're just doing a second upgrade on. Maybe we look to do a cheap underfloor upgrade for low speed performance. Bahrain is in 20 days. Other teams are going to bring upgrades for the actual race. This will be done in 62 days, but the race is in 20. When's the ATR reset period? Oh, two days. No, cancel that. No point in starting a project now. We might as well go forward two days. Good spot, uh, Ubla. Can you see what I mean, chat? By there's just stuff that you ha that is a bit not. I don't think logical's the be the rest the like the best word. But basically, there's stuff where it's just not as straightforward as it should be. All right, we're gonna design a new underfloor, and we get this re reset. Do I just go half and half again, or do I save a bit more? An underfloor could give us a really good upgrade to our low speed cornering. So I'm kind of tempted to put more into it than a half. Uh, so we've just finished the season smooth operator, but we came third season one. Oh, yeah, we can make three parts now, chat. Bloody hell, I've got so used to only being able to make two parts at a time, design-wise. I've got three engineers available. I could be done for the Miami Grand Prix if I put all five of them on it. If I split it, it's going to take 79 days. Which would be after the Spanish Grand Prix. 84 days is Monaco. If I put two on it. I don't think low speed cornering matters as much at Miami or Barcelona than it does Monaco. We could, ru we could rush them. But then does 42 days make a difference? Not really. I think if we try and get the underfloor done for um, Monaco, that's probably ideal. This is 79 days and Monaco is in 84. So we'll get that low speed corner and upgrade done for then. Although we've got to manufacture it as well. I didn't think about that. Although I guess we can just emergency manufacture them if we have to. It costs more money, but I don't think money's going to be as tight this year. I I guess you can't change a thing once you've designed it, which is a bit annoying, but it's okay. And then... We'll just do emergency stuff. Can you edit? Is it under... Where do you see that? Oh, current projects. Oh, you can... Wait, where where would you edit it, chat? Oh, edit project. Bloody hell, chat. You guys are good. So if we take 73 days... I now can't see... Oh, yeah. Okay, 73 days. Yeah, we'll definitely have it then done. Confirm. Thank you. Chat, you guys are good. You guys should all stream and be educational streamers. I'm learning for you guys now. And then we do suspension. 
The next ATR period is 52 days anyway. And with our current projects... Oh, the side pods are going to be done in free, but that's the minor upgrade, right? Chat, this whole upgrade system is so unintuitive. Do people know what I mean? Like, it can't just be me who sat here. Like, you're trying to work out when the regu when the testing periods are going to be over, how that fits in, what parts are going to be available for what track. I'm sure some people enjoy the nitty gritty of it. And on the one hand, I kind of I can appreciate it, but on the other, I feel like I might go for cooling just to help with the brakes. On on the other, I just feel like. Oh, this is it. Why does this take so much less time? I'm confused.com. Uh, we go with this. Two, two guys. Like, it's just very... I'd like a cat... Like, if there was some kind of bar chart that showed the reset periods and where stuff's going to overrun, like an actual production office would have for this kind of stuff, it'd be better. I've had a hydrate. Gooey, thank you for the hydration. I need water, chat. Water to the brain is going to help me think. Does the calendar show that, kind of? Where, chat, where's the calendar? Uh... Does this ri I guess it does show, but like I'd like to see where like the ATRs finish, and I shouldn't have to flick through like the months like this. Like I don't feel like I can I, I don't feel like having just set up a load of stuff. I can look at this at a glance and go, oh, that's where the ATR period finishes. That's where stuff's going to be finished, because you actually have to click on it to get the details. I feel like the whole part designing thing is just a bit. What's the? It's just a bit convoluted. Like, I kind of get what they're going for in terms of they really want you to plan out your moves, but because of how the stuff is shown in the game, it's actually difficult to plan out your moves. Can I request you play this game with an F1 helmet on? If you buy me an F1 helmet, I, I will add a point redemption to do it. Uh, chat, remind me in a second to upgrade the suspension simulator. Are we at the race already? Bloody hell. This wasn't meant to happen. We're at Bahrain. How's that happened? Oh, I didn't get the new side pods manufactured, did I? How big's the upgrade on these? Oh, it is actually quite big. But it's not really for stuff that's super important to the track. So we won't rush it. I mean... 17 days. I might rush it for Saudi. Although I think only one of them will be done for Saudi Arabia. We'll get them made, and when they're made, when they're ready, they're ready. They're not a massive upgrade on what we already have. Why are the side pods taking so long to manufacture? Chat. Australia's in twenty-one days, so we'll have two side. As long as we don't have an instant, both side, the, the second set of side pod upgrades will be done for then. Thirty-three days to build side pods. They better be the best side pods ever. So what, what have we currently got going on? Bloody hell. So we're designing a new underfloor. We're manufacturing the side pods, which we can edit. Oh, you can only edit the quantity of them. You can't edit the speed at which you do them once it's started. Is it me or are we all wanting to part the development points on Sergeant? I just want to hold on to them. Okay, so this is going for 15 days. This is going for 58 Uh, when is the, when is the next ATR reset? 
38 days. And our current project ends in 15 days with two of them on it. But we can actually get another thing going. Chat, what have we not upgraded this year yet? What what has not been upgraded on our car? So we've not touched the chassis. Front wing's been upgraded. Neither's the rear wing. We've got suspension and underfloor on the go. Chassis or rear wing? I think chassis is probably more important, but maybe we want a bigger upgrade for that. Rear wing helps with overall speed. I feel like we've dropped on the grit for overall speed. Our calling's already good. Chat, you're right. Rear wing. And we'll just stick all our remaining time on it, I think. Oh, God. Probably, probably low speed performance. That feels like a really crappy upgrade. <laughs> Takes 58 days to do. So it'll be done for Spain. That's probably okay. What's the other options? Optimizer aero, high speed performance. Has to be low speed, right? Although when we put engineers on it, the time then goes down. So it'll be 42 days. So it'll be in time for Miami. Unless I want to rush it. In which case, it's done in 28 days and be done for Emilia Romagna. I think the Emilia Romagna is important for low speed, low downforce. Yeah, we have to manufacture as well, don't we? If I go with this, the thing is, I don't know what the rear wing manufacturing time is. But at the moment, I think all this, if I put this on rushed, I think everything that we develop will be staggered in a way where we don't get all the upgrades land and be ready for manufacture at once and then not have the ability to manufacture them. Right. Yeah, maybe it is a bold move not to be number one in high-speed cornering, but I think I'm going to target those for the summer. So Silverstone onwards, that's what I did last year. We didn't focus on the high speed until after the like first ATR development kind of window. Alex Robbo has redeemed a Hydra. I need to stop putting the bottle on the floor. Could try some intense approach developments to improve the expertise any more, uh, even more. Oh, we will look at that next time. Uh, I can't improve the suspension thing yet either, can I? And we're at the race. Are we at the race? Accurate forecast in three months. Wait, maybe we're not at the race. What's the date? What's the date? 24th of March. We're at the race, right? Why am I so confused here? Why is it saying the accurate forecast is in three months? When the race is today. That's a weird visual book. I was getting well confused then. Okay, so we've got the latest side pods. We've got the new front wing. Where are we on the grid right now? That low speed that low speed cornering is not good. Can you please have a look for some regens? It doesn't work like it does in Football Manager, Keb. Like, there's not loads of exciting regens. Like, it's just a steady stream of a few drivers at a time. I'm not even sure, like, which guys are actually regens here and which aren't, because I don't know that much about the feeder series. Like, there might not even be any in yet. Can I, can anyone spot any regens or any of these? Stoffel, Stoffel Van Dorn is not a regen. Jack Aitken's available. Wow, they did Jack Aitken dirty. I can't see any new drivers there. It's all real people. David Beckman is a, a real driver. Uh, I, I sorted by age to begin with when I was looking at the regions chat. There, there aren't any. Like that I can recognise at least. 
Uh, right, have we done everything for, for the start of Friday's stream now? What what was the expectation? Season of... Wait. That's really bad. That's really, really... It said sick for the end of last season. It's third now. I couldn't have signed Lando. Did everyone saying you should have signed Lando? Literally couldn't afford to pay. I'd have to pay 15 million to break his claw, like his contract, which we've never had. We are suffering from success, chat. This is going to be bad. Um... The Red Bull's good, isn't it? The Ferrari's good. We are not beating Red Bull or Ferrari. We're going to have to beat Mercedes this year. How much, I'm curious. Can we see how much Latifi went on to? thing is, I think we would have been in a bidding war anyway, so I'm not sure Latifi... Uh, Latifi. I'm not sure Gasly would have been an option. We can't see his current contract. I'm kind of. I want to scout him. I want to know how much they've got him on. It's gonna be fun, chat. It's gonna be a fun season. To all the hindsight Harrys out there, going, you should should have picked X, should have picked Y. We were told at the end of the season the objective was sixth for next year. So it's it's gonna be a challenge. Don't worry about the low speed corner. Not an issue if you always drive at high speed. True. I've noticed, by the way, your reserve driver gets so much more development points than like an actual driver in your main team. I don't know if this is like an oversight, but it feels like Pacher's development is slower than Sargent's. I guess it's because as the reserve Sargent is driving in other stuff. Like he gets 924 a week. Pacher gets 366 a week. Like the reserve driver's getting 600 more just for sitting around. Which is a bit weird when the multipliers for the two of them were quite different. Uh, the sponsorships that I chose, though, I chose it so that Magnuson would do them all. Is it the sponsorships chat? I said it. I said it so that Magnuson would do them all. Where do, where do we see the sponsorship bits? Chat. Where where can we see sponsors? Is it in finances? Sponsorships. So I said it so Magnuson was doing them all. Well, not both your drivers must make media appearances. I I always said it so only Magnuson was going, so Pacher wouldn't be. So it's not that. Is there a reason you're saving Sergeant's points? I just think it'll be satisfying to spend them all at once at the end. It might have been both of them last year, but we're, look we're looking at the data now for the experience gain chat. We're looking at this now. So right now, the share's getting 366. Sergeant is getting 924. How are we going to get third in the constructors? How how are we going to do? That's going to be so difficult. Oh, it's probably for balance because your actual drivers get more during races. See, whilst I think that might be the case, even last year we noticed a difference in it. I guess we'll have a better idea after this year, but I have a sneaking suspicion the way that development is set up in the game right now, reserve drivers just get more experience than senior drivers. I saw some people mentioning this, so it might well be an issue that Frontier are aware of. Do we have any development points for our staff? Oh, we do. Hello. Um, I'm going to put it in front wing, because I think front wing's going to be pretty important to cover off some of our weaknesses later on in the year. Debeer, 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 debeer. 
Uh, let's go low speed downforce again. Race engineer, pit crew management, please. Give me all the pit crew management you have. We, we need faster stops. Oh, Ben Mitchell's 85 rated now. That is bueno. Our current pit crew, we're training on tire, tire changes because I think tire changes are going to be kind of important for us. Ben Mitchell might be our lord and saviour. They've got a good affinity already. What if, what if I give Ben Mitchell Pacher? What if we give Pacher the better engine? Is that is that going to... They've already... I should have done this. If I was going to do it, I should have done it sooner. They've got a great affinity. I don't want to split them up. I don't want to ruin a good thing. Is there anything else I need to do before Friday's stream, or are we good now? Chat, this coming year is going to be so difficult. Well, if we finish fourth, will we get sacked? How strict is that aim? Because I think we probably can come fourth. Mercedes are going to be tough to beat. But I think fourth is possible. Uh, I've already manufactured all the parts, Don, that we could. The only thing that I've not manufactured, I think, is the, the minor upgrade to side pods. Which, I mean, I can cancel. Let's just... I want to check so quick. With that side pod upgrade... You can, you can emergency upgrade it. Is it just worth paying for them immediately? The acceleration is important at this track, and it will get us to ninth. Maybe, maybe I do just rush them. I didn't get sacked for failing my objective by one. Okay, noted. So this is our car performance before and after. I think this might be worth doing. By emergency two. Yeah, I guess we emergency two and then hope we don't have an instant. That means it has to be changed. Jack, mate. You're spamming. Can you look at all, uh, all the car's performance? You can't look at them all at once, maybe. You don't need to write it more than twice your message, dude. You can chill your beans. You get an overall rating here and then you could look at each team individually. I'm going to build these. It's not cheap. It's not stupidly expensive, to be honest. I think the instant gain it gives us is probably worth it. But they probably need to make emergency parts more expensive. The re the, I think the reason they do zero days is, is so that players don't get stuck in a corner where they break their last parts in a practice session. And then they just can't drive for the weekend. All right, so the new side pods are on. Where does that leave us? I mean, suddenly that doesn't look quite as bad. We're kind of in the top half for most things, and we've still got our high-speed cornering. I've still not got the money for the facilities. Does Team Hub, um, Team Hub helps with, like, staff, senior staff game, but I don't think there's an easy way to improve the pit crew via anything. Because this stuff is all just dev related. I mean, one of the biggest challenges we've got right now is because we're quite a poor team and these facilities aren't very good, the actual upgrades we bring during the season aren't that significant. I, I have done the training focus for the pit crew. I've got it set for... Um, I've got it set to tire changes at the moment just because they were really, really bad at one point. Um, let's have a look at the cars. So, I think Ferrari, Ferrari are still really, really solid at everything. Red Bull. Red Bull should win the championship this year. To be honest, with that car, at least to start the year, they are the best car by a mile. 
I think they sacked off the championship at the end when they realized Ferrari had got it. McLaren. McLaren are not good. Um, they're really not good. They are like a bottom half team pretty much everywhere. They've got good low speed cornering, but even then it's not great. Mercedes are Mercedes are com <clears throat> Mercedes are comfortably the third best team over us, I think. Yeah. It looks pretty it looks pretty rough when you look at it there, doesn't it? It's that low speed corner cornering is gonna be a problem. Uh then we've got the Alfa Romeo, which, I mean, doesn't look that scary. I feel like there must be a team here that's come out of nowhere. Um, Aston Martin, still really, really bad. What about Mick Schumacher's Williams? Okay, the Williams and the Aston Martins are still going to be the bat markers this year. Alfa Tauri. Kind of okay at low speed cornering and acceleration. They might be good this track. At least with their main car. And then Alpine. Alpine look pretty good. Mm -hmm. We're similar to Alpine. It feels like. I guess our one saving grace is just our high speed specialization should really allow us to shine at tracks in the summer. But my, my worry is that whilst we're trying to make a better rounded car to compete across the season. Because we're going to have to do that if we want top three again. They are going to focus their development into the um, other uh, kind of other areas. The show rank on grid doesn't work on this, I've just noticed. So I can't tell you where we might come out. But lots of new designs coming along. We've got a big, uh, small suspension upgrade. The big upgrade is going to be the rear wing and the underfloor when they those come in. I think fourth is doable. I think third over the Mercs is going to be hard. But I think... I think realistically... We have a better car than the Alpine in specializations. My only concern is that the fact our low speed is so bad. But maybe that won't be a problem by the time we get to Monaco with the front wing upgrade we've got. And then, uh, where are we? Alpine, Mercedes is just good. Mercedes are really, really good. And, I don't know, Alfa Romeo don't seem that good. To be honest, like, it's weird. Like, there's a few teams that are kind of very good in certain areas and terrible in others, it feels like. Which probably works to our benefit. Like, the Alfa Tauri might be very good at this first track. But across the season, I don't think it's going to be as good. Uh, Williams haven't improved on last year. We already looked at them. They are still right at the back. They're going to be just fighting uh, Aston Martin, I think. Um, they are comfortably the worst and second worst cars still on the grid. Yeah, Alfa Romeo have Gasly and Bottas, which is going to be tough on us. All right, that's going to be, the, I guess, the interesting thing, isn't it? What? What? Let's, can we? Can we go back to the team thing? So Ferrari and Red Bull are unchanged. Mercedes, we kind of know what to expect. Bottas and Gasly are decent. To be fair, Ocon and uh, Alonso should have been good as well last year, and they just weren't. The Alpine wasn't very good last year, but I think this year it's going to be much better. Alpha Tauri aren't as good this year with Albon and Vettel versus Gasly and Sonoda. I say that. Gasly always seem to outperform Sonoda, but maybe having two more well-rounded drivers, they'll be okay. I'm just ha I'm just happy that Mick is still on the grid, everyone. Our drivers are not great, but we're going to save money. If it gets to the summer, we need to upgrade. We might have to have some hard decisions if third is looking unlikely. Right, shall we raid over to someone? Shall shall we raid over to someone? I feel like that's a, a good idea 
to wrap up the stream for today. I appreciate you guys who have hung out today. I didn't know how long preseason was going to take and how much there was to it. Um, pleasantly surprised. It was it was pretty good on the whole. Um, we're going to raid over. Where are we going to go? Where do we go? Uh, let's go to Respawn TV. I uh, appreciate you guys who hung out today, though, guy gang. I appreciate it. It's a bit of a different vibe today just because we had more admin -y bits to do and kind of learning the game and figuring out new stuff. But it was really, really good fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it may be for you guys who are wrapping up your seasons. It gives you an idea of maybe what a good plan is. It certainly feels like I probably should have saved up a little bit more money. Oh, chat, I've just realized Respawn TV is making Williams great again, but... They've sat Latifi. So get your spam in of where is the goat? Get get that on your on your key on your kind of clipboard ready to copy and paste as we go for this big, big raid. Let's show them a load of love. You guys have been wicked at representing the channel over the last few days. I really appreciate everyone who's been getting involved um with all the raids and hanging out with the people we've been getting it like, you know, visiting. Um we've I think discovered some pretty cool streamers and to raid people at good times. So maybe we're going to be raiding at another good time here. Um, as I already said earlier in the stream, but just to reinforce it, not live at the end, uh, not live at the end, not live tomorrow, but I am going to be live at the end of the week, Friday, 8 p.m. UK time. Whatever time it is for you now, take six hours off it, um, roughly. And we're going to be live. We're going to be starting season number two. I forgot what season it was. Trying to stay in the top three. And hopefully... Fingers crossed, uh, not getting fired. And the plan is to do three or four races across kind of six to eight hours. So it's going to be a big blockbuster stream to start things off. And uh, yeah, hopefully you're going to be around for that. Have a lovely day tomorrow. Don't go, well, cold turkey without me. 